these advertisements are now running to support good causes. Thank you, please.
that plays you it's so 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 it's too Let's get ready to crumble. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, good day, and most of all, good vibes be with you. Welcome oh, aboard. Man. It is indeed Hump Saturday or something like that. Welcome aboard, folks. Did a little bit of work yesterday evening off stream on the camel clutch. Boy, oh boy, it is so much work to build anything in Ark right now. Oh. Plus, of course, the usual murders of anything that I tame. <laughs> or gets tamed and gifted to me. Don't top tip. If you're playing along with me, don't gift me any animals. Unless they're incredibly violent. Because <laughs> they won't last. They won't last the proverbial five minutes. Anyway, good morning, Crumbs. Good morning, Ducky. Let's do this. My bar got buttons to press. Levers to pull. Boop. Oh, there you go. We've got a, got a bit of cheeky, cheeky little bit of sunshine joining us today live on the stream. I'd like to give you our special guest, the sun, bringer of light. Uh, good morning, everybody. How are we doing, folks? Who's up for a little bit of uh, a little bit of arc shenanigans and me getting eaten, probably? Uh, good morning. Canberra's here. BK's here. Uh, Destiny's parent is here. Welcome aboard. Purple is here with us. G'day, buddy. Hope you can join us very soon. Uh, Disco's here. G'day. Uh, Blaster Gunner's here. Good morning to you. Blutnum's here. Welcome aboard, folks. Good morning to Twitch. Good morning to YouTube. Good morning, Shiva. Welcome in. Beard hugs. No worries. Thank you, Disco. All right. I did upload the highlight well, battle man. from yesterday in World of Warships. Uh, I uploaded the seven kill Assassio, equaling my best ever in the game, which was previously held by the Arkansas Beater at tier four. So I'm pretty chuffed to get a seven kill haul in uh, a tier eight. That's pretty, pretty groovy. Uh, Joshua, thank you very much for saying well met, well met, and all the support in the game. All right, let's uh, see if we can log in here, shall we? Let's see what shenanigans. I know we've got some peeps already up and about. We've got uh, Scribs, uh, the brother of Frank, or Frick, who's joined us, and some others coming in as well, I think. And hopefully, Purpley makes it in today. So we'll have Purpley, uh, who, you know, it's just such a joy to game and roleplay with Purpley. So I'm very, very chuffed that he's uh, taking the plunge. Hopefully, it'll be fun. Uh, and not constant death. Well, it will be constant death, but hopefully it'll be fun too. Uh, Marut Sal, good morning. Welcome in. Let's go. Cheers, everyone. Oh, I seem to have that heat stroke thing. It's weird. Uh, that's uh, somewhat better. Hello. Ah, uh, good morning, Frank. Hey, pop, pop, how are you doing? I'm Actually, doing. I'm, I'm doing wonderful, apart from this uh, dizzy heat heat stroke spell I'm having. 
Yeah, we've got to go take a little walk out into the desert. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's part of like the morning ritual now. Like, all right, wake up, stroll out. All right, wake up back here. Everything's good. All right, I'll see you in but, a minute uh, after my uh, desert walk. Right. It's uh, it's like 2.15 in the morning in my head. So oh. I'm going to call it a night. <laughs> okay, good night. You rest well. I'll see you later. All right, uh, we did get um, a couple of things. Right. Uh, we got the sheep. Oh, very nice. Oh, yes, I see it. Hello so, there. Only one so far, but, you know, we got the sheep. Right. Uh, uh, I tell you what, old chap, why don't you go and rest your head because I'm getting rather dizzy, so I need to go right. and deal with this desert walk. Have a good night, Papa. Hey. All right. See you soon. I can't. Uh, I can't take this. So apparently, we've got to die to get rid of the heat stroke. Oh, sorry, Chad. It's. Uh, I don't know. I'm just showing you what I'm seeing, but it's pretty horrible. Let's come out here and punch something. Oh, sugar. I should have emptied my pockets first. <sighs> no, no, no. Stop it. Okay. Well, I'm going to find something I can punch. Why have they done this horrible blurring thing? It's terrible. Are you going to fight me? You're not going to fight me. Oh, you'll fight me. You're a carno. Right. Okay. Well, worst thing is here I'm going to lose here is a bloody Adobe triangle. Yeah, have at it. Hey, you there. Yeah, the adobe in the ship uh, seemed to be working yesterday and we weren't having a problem anymore, but it's, uh, it's changed. Hey, have at it. Have at there. Don't you know who I am? All right, obviously you do and you don't care. Thank goodness, that's better. Hot. Yeah, only 30 degrees inside. So I think... Uh, there's still not enough of this that's Adobe. That's probably why. I hate that it does this weird blurring, pixeling. Oh, look, there you go. I knew Scribs would, would enjoy... Uh, Drawing. I hope. I hope it's. I uh, hope it works. We have a treasure map. Nice. All right. Let's. We don't need the music. It's distracting. Good morning, Bludenum. Yes. Off to a great start, one could say. So uh, I've been working a little bit yesterday on the boat, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, we need so many materials. It's actually disgusting. And every time I get myself an animal for gathering, it gets bloody eaten. So, uh, to say that it's a frustrating start is an understatement. But, you know, welcome to Scorched Earth. Right, let's show you uh, what we did. Uh, I'm working on the back area here. This is going to be... Uh, yeah, we do some uh, crafting of some paints there. But I'm working a little bit here on uh, this deck. Uh, this will probably be like crew quarters and processing and whatnot. And just storage down in the hull or something. Probably just somewhere we don't even go down there. We even pretend... I was thinking I might even... Uh, oh, uh, I might even uh, do some angled things and make it look like the ship is just uh, sitting off the floor a little bit. There's, uh, like that. Uh, also played with a couple of these scaffolding pieces. They're pretty cool looking. Uh, unfortunately, the other scaffolding with the stairs and that is uh, doesn't work. It's not placeable for some bizarre reason. Or it wasn't yesterday. Maybe that's what they patched overnight. There was another patch. Uh, and we've got... Uh, not this one. I've got baby Malololol. 
So our little baby finally grew up and is now level 163 or above. Uh, and I started putting a little bit of paint. Hello, Rex. Good morning. Started putting a little bit of uh, a little bit of paint up. There you go. I went with. I wanted to go with a whitewash for a steamboat, uh, but the white still hasn't been fixed or changed, and it just doesn't pop at all on the wood pieces. So uh, is that? Is that? No, it's a butterfly. Okay. Um, yeah. So what do you think of the color scheme? The golden. Uh, the sorry, the gold. The red and uh, red and black. I think I thought of like poker or blackjack. You know. So coming soon, TM, the Camel Clutch Casino and Gin Runner. My this name pen name confirmation pending. And then I'm just going to do some sort of dark color on the bottom, maybe like a dark blue, something like that. But I tell you what, even with the uh, uh, <clears throat> with the skin right on the wood, the, these colors really pop on there, right? I haven't painted all the sections to make it. Oh God! Oh no! Well ship i need to do something so that this isn't an issue ah uh, i oh ah uh, ah uh, uh, hey can i can i oh ah uh, now maybe maybe ah uh, okay okay I got this. Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! We need to need gonna need to fix that. Okay. Right. Uh, let's get my. I should have my stuff in here. Bobby. There we go. All right, number six. Bit of that. Bit of that. Okay. Marvelous. So first thing I'm going to have to do is go and gather. What is this? Fabricator. Miner's helmet. Oh, is this this is how we make the fancy stuff? It just looks like a uh so we're not we're supposed to stick with Wild West theme and not have anything that would be too fancy beyond too modern. Oh, that's kinda cool. Primitive fab oh okay, primitive fabricator, nice. Okay. Uh but yeah, it looks like we've got no oh, wood. So We've got a load of clay, that's great. So first job today is to go and smack trees. Marvellous. A little bit in there, but not a lot. Oh, spyglass. Oh, that's handy. We'll have one of those. What happened to my... Oh, I lost my uh, fibre thing, but I don't need too much of that anyway. Right. Uh, yeah, winning. Well, I wrote the winning on there yesterday. Winning with a little G. Uh, probably need some meat in there for the murder kitties. There we go. Right. Um, there is this other uh, cooking pot, but it makes only food stuffs and that rather than and some stews, whatever they're good for. Uh, but it doesn't make any uh, paints. So the better paint manufacturing things are like, you know, one billion pieces of metal, one billion pieces of, of, I don't know, polymer and stuff like that. So we'll get that when we get around to it. But for now, chop, chop. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, th it was horrible yesterday. I We got a spiny, a thorny dragon. We got a... I had my moss chops. You know moss chops? My, my rooibos. My, my dog, pet, Bobby's pet dog. That got eaten. And you know what killed us? One of those big mega sloths. We've got... I just started chopping a tree near the sloth and the sloth was like, Oi, that's my tree. And, uh, yeah. I died. Holy cow. Oh, they gave us, gifted us a whole load of points. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh... I think we still don't have the flyers. No, okay. Not that the moth would really help me with my wood gathering exercise. All right, I'll stay around here because it's a bit safer than down there, but I need to go and get some cactus. So we've got to take a little bit. Crikey, they've got a windmill up there. Power mill. How have they got all those things? But yeah, the uh, we're, we're still a little bit in the grinding setup phase, unfortunately. We got to meet Mr. West yesterday. Mr. Weast. Okay, I'm gonna. You're, you're my pack rat, so I need you to be able to survive a fight. Maybe dish a little bit out and carry a lot. So, uh, yeah. I've kind of given up on taming. I like to tame these low levels so I can just get it done quickly and get on with the uh, get on with things. But the low levels just are just dying so much so quickly that it's just not. I can't, I can't can't use my usual tactic of just having some low levels to get the job done because they're just getting ruffle stumped time and time again. So it's like literally a waste of time. You spend like 10 minutes, you get yourself something, and 10 minutes later it's been eaten. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can get some cactus from those trees over there. Let's get this wood back first. Okay, a bit more. A bit more choppy chop. Good morning, Shady. Good morning, Squig. Good morning, Evil Trev. Need to get the dinos. Oh uh, yeah, well, I had my thorny dragon and my moss chops and I yesterday, and I thought, well, we're we're a little, we're a little gang. We'll be all right. I was wrong. I was so terribly wrong. But anyway, I that was to bide time until this one had grown up. So we've got a little bit of. Uh, we got a little bit of little bit of a chance now with this one. I love how tiny everything looks when you're on a the far camera like that. Boy, they really need to add in something that lets me transfer all the gear across. Oh fudge. No, stop. There. I wish we had the, the transfer thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's put the wood in this one then. Oh, no, that's too much. Uh, uh, oh, what did I, did I? Oh, I went 400 instead of 300. Dope. Good morning, Delana. Welcome in.
No, I don't. Well, if we do, I'm going to feel rather silly. But I don't believe so. Point it out to me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm happy to be silly and wrong and, and find out that there is. But there's nothing in here that lets me grab the resources. It's usually up here or something, isn't it? So yeah, no, it's 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 old school back and forth. Old school back. I have got another box upstairs. I uh, maybe I should just move the stuff already upstairs and do the processing up there. The uh, the the other players have been really kind to me and got me a whole load of. Uh, They've made me a whole load of this stuff for the adobe. So I've got to make it adobe so that we can survive the the heat waves. Seems to be the way. And it was working already. Like this area here, just under here, where there was a 77 degree uh, heat outside centigrade. And then just being in this bit here was enough. Um, to not succumb to that. So that was pretty solid. So it is already working. It just takes so much resource to make the stupid... Um, uh, to make the, the stupid... What do you call it? Adobe. It's, it's just redonkulous how much resource you need for it. Okay, let's put these away in here. So, okay, right, let's see, because the problem is I'm torn, I, I probably should just start off by upgrading all of this to Adobe so that we don't die horribly, so let's see, we need, yeah, here we go, heat wave, you're overheating, but over here I shouldn't be. Hmm. But I am. Yeah, okay. Well, we talked about this the other day already. So it's just going to be a fact of living here. So here, at least it's minimal. I've put my fortitude up to 40 now. Uh, got 50 engram points. Yeah. So I'm not dying too quickly, at least. It's, 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 it's survivable. So that's good. I think you're empty now, right? Yeah. What is this junk you've picked up here? I love those. I might as well have those. I will keep those in case we need them. Is that why Adobe Creative Cloud is so expensive? It is stats. It is. It's direct correlation there. Morning. Okay. So they've been doing a sterling job. I guess we've got some crystal from somewhere. Or I don't know how else we make it. Um, but yeah, uh, what I'd really like to get at some point would be the cooking pot thing. And uh, we'll take it from there. Oh, this box is gone. Huh. There was a box there. A special box for storing for building purposes, so... Anyway, that got destroyed by something, I guess. Hello, Moss Chops. Uh, yeah, and up here, we're going to probably have, like, the pilot's area. And then this one is going to be a gambling saloon-style type thing. And then there'll be another level up there, which will be a bit narrower. Um, which will be... Um... Like, we're going to make a VIP area. VIW, very important West for, for Mr. West uh, to hang out at the top. And it's going to be a really nice room with some paintings and all sort of decked out uh, like, a, like a VIP lounge. But there'll only be one chair in there and it'll probably be a toilet. So I think that'll be funny. Uh, 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 uh. 
uh, 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 uh. So, uh, cactus. Cactus, this, this, oh, in the superheat. Okay, so look, superheat, but 37 degrees, and I'm completely healed up and fine. So, I don't know, it's a bit, it's weird. It's weird. It's like the superheat is a problem sometimes, but then you move 10 paces. I know it's the, there's altitude as well, but it doesn't make any sense to me that I'm dying indoors. And I'm fine outdoors. But, you know, things I suppose don't have to make sense to me. <laughs> okay, we're going to see if we can go and get some cactus without too much trouble. But this is this is the beginning. This is how it goes. We'll see. Now, where were we? We were up here. There's a couple of uh, trees that will give us some cactus. But the cactus that I want is over there. But get, just getting over there to that wall is uh, can be rough. Oh, now I'm dying up here. Yeah, this is 67 now. Okay. What's going to kill me up here? Apart from the heat. Oh, this is 77 now. Yeah, we've gone up a bit. Let me just see. Is this going to give me any cactus? No, that's just wood. Okay. I wonder if an Anki is good at getting cactus, but I can't... I don't have a saddle for it, so I can't force it to... Really? Procoptodon? Really? Get off me! Gah. Don't make me tie your kangaroo down, mate. You're going to need a big... Oh, board. snap. Oh... Hello. Oh, there goes the channel. Dragoon just raided with for <laughs> hundred seventy nine Dra odd. Dragoon, ones. are you sure about that, Angry Pirate Man? Dragoon, good morning. Welcome in. How we doing, folks? You're going to need a bigger boat. Going to need a bigger boat. Welcome in. Look at all you lovely glue on folks. Doc's new name, yeah, Dragoon. Hello. Greetings, everybody. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid, Doc. Uh, thanks for bringing everybody in to watch me and my dinosaurs get eaten by more angry dinosaurs. Um, guiltless Candy, thank you for oh, the follow. Hey, Guiltless underscore Candy85. Thanks for hitting that follow button. Uh, you had this horrible dream watching this guy wearing a fez. Hey, I like the guy wearing the fez. <laughs> uh, right now, what we're doing is we're just gathering some resources. Thank you uh, for the follow, we've Moon only, We've only just started on, uh, on the server, and I've had some teething problems with the game trying to uh, get the updates to work and stuff. So I haven't had a lot of time on the server. And the time I have had on the server has mostly been spent running away and being eaten in Death Valley. Or dying to heat stroke and stuff like that. So, yeah. Welcome to Scorched Earth. I've wasted my points. Thank you so much. Uh, if Doc's already headed off to rest, that's awesome. I hope he gets some good rest or have some fun whatever you're doing next. Did we get a shout for Doc? What was Doc up to? I actually had a look this morning. But my short-term memory is like, no, no, you can't have that information back right now. What was he playing, folks? Was it Stardew? No. Oh, no, he was playing Content Warning. He was playing Content Warning, right? How was Content Warning? I've got that one, but I haven't had a chance to play it yet. I think his, ti his title was something like, Warning, there's content here, or something like that, yeah. I remember seeing that. I didn't have time to pop in and say hi, unfortunately. Hey, Bounty Crusher, how you doing? Plate up Minecraft and then content warning. And then even something else. Wow. That crazy doc. He's doing so many things. 
Plate up, plate up is good fun. And one of my moderators here, Lanavar, is really good at plate up. And sometimes we we play plate up as an in-between game, and and Lanavar tries to carry me as best he can through uh, through pizza restaurants. My coworker is an idiot. Was the other one really? Is that actually a game? Oh my god, that's hilarious. What about, I tell you what I've enjoyed recently a lot was the, uh, what about the, the box fortress that, uh, Doc was building in supermarket, supermarket sweep, supermarket simulator. How's the box for? Cause there's been an update to that game. I assume it's been to add more fortifications and or cats to live in the, uh, in the boxes. Oh, hey, Mimi Inbu. Thanks for hitting that follow button. <laughs> hey, hey, Mimi Inbu. Hey, Mimi My, my, in blue. Welcome aboard. Moonlit Jade, thank you as well. Welcome in, folks. Mimi That's your, according to Angry Pirate Guy, you are not my, my, in blue. You are, or Mimi in blue, I don't know, but you are Mimi I think you had to reinforce the box fort since the physics got weird. Oh, I mean that box fort was glorious. That was the that was the supermarket simulator content. Uh, that and of course his ability to sell untold volumes of bleach. Thank uh, you for the follow. I, I, I don't know what kind of murderous neighborhood he was living in that everyone needed so much bleach to clean up after themselves, but. Perhaps that's why he had to build the fort. Because it was such a dangerous area. He's some sort of box rolled now. Brilliant. No, I, I, I enjoy what, what Doc puts down very much. So good vibes, everybody. Uh, what do we got here? We got a bunch of cactus. We'll get some more. It is surprisingly non-violent out here. I died horribly in here to a mega sloth yesterday. And so did two of my pets. So I I don't want to jinx it, but there's no violence in here at all right now. There's nothing. It's just empty, and I'm okay with that. There's not even a thieving pack rat thing. The fox the uh, the fort was to keep the zombies out. Uh. Not another survival, but zombie survival game. The sloths are watching, yes. Sloth Meru. Uh, anyway, I am playing uh, Ark Survival Ascended, as you can see. We're on the Scorched Earth map that's just dropped a couple of days back. Uh, I think it was Tuesday or summer. And... Uh, or the server certainly open up, and we're playing on uh, Fist of the Walrus Community's um, glorious Digital Nomads server. They also run Nordheim RP, it might be more familiar to people, where we've played some uh, really fun Conan on there. And they've just started a Conan... Uh, oh, They've just started a Conan season on there too. I don't think you're going to get me well met, cactus, are you? And welcome when you uh, underground swing. There. Thank you for the 45 for long months, months of subscribing to Cheeglin. Getting his mods play. killed, misbehaving in Asashios, with now his latest victory over Ark updates. Oh. The big question, will it be a Pyrrhic victory or not? <laughs> Most likely, Dutch Eagle. Thank you for the tier one and the 45 months, Dutch. And the uh, fun message. Thank you, buddy. How's it going, Dutch? One of those rats stole my shotgun shells right before I was about to reload. They're learning. Wow, that is that is cheeky. So, is this... How much... Did that gather a lot of wood? But I, uh, No, four wood. Okay, so it's getting some thatch. But it's getting a lot of berries, which is good for painting and stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, my tool broke, so let's hope we can repair that back at the base. So, yeah, I might uh, might change it up a little bit and bring some of those things outside. 
make it, but it's not, it's not too inconvenient. We're not too far from the door. Boop. It drops me straight off. Lovely. At least I can access the dinosaur from its nose. That's a good design. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're still following me, aren't you? Trying to follow me. Yeah, welcome in, folks. Again, thank you for being here. I hope you're in really good spirits and good health. And hopefully we can do something entertaining for you, which doesn't revolve exclusively around me being eaten. But I'm sure there'll be some of that. And hopefully there'll be some role play with some of our lovely uh, fellow players through the course of the day. Right, are you? Yeah, you're going to sit there now. Good. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a bit busy around here. Let's back you up a little bit. Vehicle reversing. Large vehicle reversing. <laughs> Don't worry, Dutch. I'm pretty sure we can manage it. I'm pretty sure we can manage it. Slow walk of shame. Yeah, so the whole temperature thing doesn't seem to be as bad of a threat now as it was before. But still can be annoying. Okay. Boop. Alright. Gather, gather, gather. I wonder if Doc's going to try some arc at some point. Oh, we got some mushrooms as well. Interesting. Alright, we'll kind of need to put all of that in the fridge anyway, I guess. Because I think they are used in certain other kinds of weird recipes. Got to get the dough head out and do some uh, do some sand gathering. Oh, this one's full already. Okay. What could possibly go wrong? Do you know how a dinosaurian vehicle parks? No. How? How does a dinosaur... I'm excited to find out. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Go on then. How much of these berries can I carry? Almost all of them, by the looks of it. All right. <laughs> oh, do I now own a dinosaurian park? Uh, kind of in the... It isn't really a park. It's, it's free range. Uh, enemies are free to come and go and murder everything. <laughs> so... Yeah, this might not be the smartest. It's definitely not the smartest park. Oh wait, I didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just chop these in here for now. That'll be fine. We can come and get them when we need them. Uh, right, I've got to repair my tool. How are you doing? You're okay. Bit of that. really doesn't matter. Yes, yes. We do have a wild sheep. So I guess that's going to be handy when we need some wool and, and whatnot. Okay. Right, what, what was it we needed for the EC... Oh wait, it's in here. 
No, that's the weapons bench. So, 200 cementing paste, 150 oil, 500 ingots, but it's the it's the 120 polymer uh, that is the problem. I, I'm not sure, but I'm going to leave the team with that because they uh, they seem to know what they're doing. Uh, I don't know where the... In fact, there isn't polymer in this one, is there? That's a pity. There's just... Uh, uh, Electronics. Alright, maybe we can get some... Well, AC as well. It's a bit of a pipe dream right now. Okay, let's see how many Adobe pieces uh, I can craft right now. Or, no, let's do a quick sand run. Okay, come on, little fella. We don't have a... Uh, we don't have a saddle for you yet, so... Come on, little fella. Actually, are you weighed down? Oh, sugar. No, nope, too much. Ugh. Walk of shame. Sources. Oh, da, da. But yeah, if we had a mod to move everything across, it would be uh, nice. And I agree, if it was my choice, I wouldn't play without that, but it's not my choice. I can make suggestions, though. <laughs> yeah, I uh, maybe maybe we'll get to that point, Dutch. But every time my dinosaur park grows, it's it's mostly on me though, because I'm just being reckless with them, and I'm and I'm putting up with these low levels. Uh, we might need to take you up these stairs then, if I can. You know what? We can just get this one out of the way. It'll be fine. Come on. Come on, little fella. Really? Really, little fella? Come on. All right, come this way then. Excuse me. Come on. Come on. Are you... Are you stuck? Are you stuck? You were stuck. <laughs> okay, can you turn for the door now? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on, you can do it. Yes. Oh, you're not allowed through that door frame? Are you kidding me? What? Okay, come on. You're not allowed through that door frame. All right, you're free. You're free. Yay. All right, let's go. Uh, we'll take you with us as well. That way we've got some double protection. And we're going to go up here because I see lots of rocks in a safe area. Actually, you can start there. Come on then, buddy. Let's get you on wandering. Oop. Is that working? Yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah, until we get the saddle sorted out for this one, apparently one of our crew has got a commitment from Cleader to get a saddle for this fella. So that's going to be a massive help. We 
we should take him out for his daily exercise. He's having a good time. Just having a little wander around, smashing a few rocks up. Loving it. Loving life. Okay, uh, you're going to come with me now. Oh, I forgot to repair my uh, my axe. Here he comes. Let's not get him stuck on a tree. Up here, loads of rocks. Look at this. You're going to have a whale of a time, Doddy. Come on. You're going to have a whale of a time. Look at that, how much he's going to enjoy himself up here. Look at that. He's straight into it. Go on, Doddy. I'll leave you there for a minute. I'm gonna fix my pickaxe. Got my pickaxe, my hatchet. Doddy's gonna have a real good laugh up there. And he's gonna be perfectly safe. Nothing is gonna spawn in and murderize him at all. It's fine. Doddy did get eaten, but I always call the Doddies the Doeds Doddies, because it's just a fun name for me. And this one doesn't have a name yet, so he's he's surrogate Doddy. He's, he's, you could call him Spirit of Doddy. Doddy did get eaten by a terror bird. Oh, I, I really hate that they get stuck on the tails and stuff like that. It's annoying. All right, stop there for a second. All right, carry on. You see, I'm going to get rid of the stone because we don't need all these stones. Cute but not an Anki. I I do love Ankies. Do 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 Doeds and uh, Ankies are just such quality creatures, and Ankies look so cool. Come on, little fella. You just have your little wonder. There's a big pile of rocks over there. Come on, over here. I do like that you can just walk, you know, walk them up around, walk them around like this, and have them do some gathering. It's not as cool as uh, being able to ride them up to it, or as efficient, let's say. But it's kind of, kind of fun. Juvenile Jaboa. Are you all on your own? We've got enough Jaboas. Cheech and Chong. <laughs> That's funny. Ew. Hello, can I? There we go. Nice, that's piles and piles of sands. Pretty good. Oh goodness, he went and hit that other thing. I knew he hit it. <laughs> okay, don't need any other. Alright, let's see. Is there one more little stony area? There's loads over here. This is nice and calm. Whoa! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> um. <laughs> bye. Bye. Oh, that poor baby Jaboa. That poor baby Jaboa. Yeet! 
Did you see that fly off the screen? Oh, sorry to laugh, but that's pretty, pretty funny. It's only pixels. Oh, my goodness. Good job. Good job. Okay, we can't carry any more in this, so... Yep, yep, a superb piece of calm, cool, and collected. Are you still wondering? Or did I whistle you to stop wondering, maybe? Wait, you're... Oh, I whistled you passive? No, I didn't. You just are passive. Uh, you need to go neutral. Go away. Go away, vulture. No, I do not like the vultures. I do not enjoy the company of vultures. I am not Tyrosian. Oh, no. Yeet. Your attention, please. Advertisements are now running. All right, I can leave you one. You're, you're, you're pretty tough, you know. You're 200 level, whatever. You'll, you'll be fine. I'll leave you there for a minute. Just carry on gathering. All right, fantastic. All right. And we can get to building. Ah, too heavy. No. I need to shut these Jabowers up. <laughs> Shut up! And now, for the moment of sadness when we realize just how few pieces of adobe all of that gathering allows us to make. Because it looks, it's hundreds and hundreds of clay and it looks great, but then you, you realize it's like 80 plus pieces per, and you're like, oh, it's not that cool. <laughs> this is nice and calm. <laughs> Yeet. What's that link? I'm very wary of Discord links. I had a friend who lost his entire Discord like community and access to Twitch and everything from being hacked on. Okay, now don't start posting in chat without permission. <laughs> That's naughty. I know there's no malicious intent. Oh, okay. No worries. Like I, I said, it's, I, I know you're not trying to do anything bad, but we, we, we you know, I'm very, I get, the links other than clips on Twitch make me nervous. I'm sure one day a Twitch clip will catch me out and I'll be like, ha, who was the, it was a fool all along. Oh, wow. We've already used up all of that cactus. Okay, fine. 
All right, let's see what all of this, uh, what an hour's worth of gathering gets us, shall we? <laughs> I'm actually, I'm going to go and get Doddy back because this, this map just makes me nervous and, uh, he's, he's rather useful. Oh my goodness, Mosh Ops. Get out of my way. Get out of my face. Let's go get Doddy. Where's Doddy? Oh. They just can't make their mind up with Ark with clipping. Right? It's the stuff that clips where you think that shouldn't clip. And then there's stuff that doesn't clip or where they get through a wall or something like that. And you're like, no. <laughs> just no. All right, Doddy. Stop wondering. What have you been wondering about? Look at that glorious sand. All right, come on. I'll take you on. I just told you to not wander, didn't I? Yeah. Oops. Come on then. Da -da -da. Uh, good morning. <laughs> the VoIP was being uh, a bit weird yesterday as well. I know there's been some challenges with the VoIP. As always. Okay, there we go. Right. Uh, let's see what we could have won. Good morning, Twiz Amber. How are you doing? Yeah, it's scary. Okay. All right, let's see what we get. We need... Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten triangle foundations. So let's start with that. Okay, We're, we haven't used it all up already. You have a properly loaded bacon buddy. Nice. It's so many years since I had a lovely bacon buddy. I'm just sad at myself. <laughs> Good morning, Vind. Welcome in. Let's go Saturday weekend, gang. Germany not do bacon? There is bacon to be had. I could. I could do it. Sometimes I have treated myself in the past. It's not, it's not, I mean, it's probably like, I don't know, a couple of years. Just... I, once I start on the bacon though, I'm like, I'm then, I'm on a bacon binge. It's like, bacon's so good. I oh, why don't I just have this every day? <laughs> it's like, no, maybe not. <gasps> we need war drums. Why haven't we got war drums? Okay. 
So let's uh, get these put down. Number eight. One of those. I don't know where that piece just went. That's... Oh. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where's... Oh, there it is. It's down in the water. Down by the river. Yoink. Okay. What is that? Creepy. I'm failing to see a problem here. <laughs> You've got biscuit regret. <laughs> Good morning, Mickey. Else, welcome aboard. Okay, right. That now we have an entirely Adobe floor. Let's see about. Oh, I hate that weird pixel. That's DLSS does that. It's so weird. So we need one. Two, wait, is this? One. Oh, that's the ceiling. Okay, that's an Adobe. One. One square. Blimey! That snuck oh, up yeah. on me. One. <laughs> two. Uh, he's got three, all the wood on him, so I'm four. moving it into storage. Oh, very good. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. I need six square Adobe ceilings. Wow. I could make exactly six. Wow, that's a coinkadink. How's your morning going? Getting some uh, good work done with the with the dragon? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Terry didn't last very long. Terry and Roybus, my pet dog stroke lizard, uh, met with an angry sloth and the sloth won. Oh. Um, yeah, that's why I'm after crystals, so we can just keep them all safe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't, don't disagree with that at all. This is something I've noticed as well. Sometimes it won't replace it won't snap in place and i have to remove the wooden ceiling and then it'll take the adobe one in its place so weird and then other times it'll just do the auto replace like that Marvellous. Okay. And now I need... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, and sure enough, 16. Right, 16 of those. The, the baby sheep wanted a hug and you didn't want to give it to it. Oh, to be honest, I didn't notice. I, I just didn't, oh. uh, I've been in and out of the place uh, all the time. How many did I say? I bloody forgot now. Was it 16 or something? Anyway, more than I can make. Uh, 
Dream Brulee. Chocolate covered malted milks. Level 69. Nice. And the worst thing is this is just replacing what we've got rather than adding on to the boat. It's just... Ugh. All right. One, two... What are you? You're Adobe. You're Adobe. Okay, you're the next one then. You're Adobe. Um, I'm going to head out on a small adventure. Wish me luck. Oh, all right then. Good luck. Uh, do you want to come with? Uh, no, I'm going to crack on a little bit with the building, but I definitely can do some adventuring later on. I, I just want to get some a little bit more of the boat yep. done. All right. Don't get eaten by anything I wouldn't. Well, that doesn't narrow it down, really. I'll try not to. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five more. Looks like five more. Okay, five more and we'll be done with the ceiling. And I'm going to just cry a little bit inside because that's going to be like all of us used up. five there we go now we have an entirely adobe uh, roof on this part right off to a great start <clears throat> and I can put the uh, the wood down on it as well but the part of the ship we're probably going to end up using the least but anyway whatever methodical that's what we'll call it we'll be methodical lovely Okay, right, next up, we've got, um, oh, have you seen this, by the way, the adobe fences, right, when you use the, uh, the um, western wood skin, look how they, look at that, they're beautifully detailed, oh wait, is it the same as that, oh, I thought it looked different than that, oh, well, forget what I said. The western wooden skin railings look really good. <laughs> I thought the, the adobe one looked different. Maybe when I turned it upside down it looked different. <laughs> that was silly. Alright. But let's have a look at how this town's coming along. We need to get some lighting up over here as well. Oh, never mind. We can't see. Can't see any of it. Never mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right, now for the next part, I'm just going to use wood because, uh, again, oh, it's just, it's such a chore to make the adult, unfortunately. So we do have tons and tons of wood.
Okay, so the next step is to bring it back here a bit. So we can build the upper levels. Really? Get him, Rex. That was a 140 saber tooth. Imagine just being jumped by a 140 saber tooth, like just like that, out of nothing. Jeez, Louise, man. Jeez Louise. All right. All right, let's build out. Uh, let's finish this floor part off. So it's basically going to look like the boat is. Uh, I was going to do like, I might still do, but I was going to do like a dry dock scaffolding type thing. We could make the dinosaur pen like a dry dock scaffolding, but I don't know if that's going to help the overall aesthetic of the build or kind of just be more in its way. But I also am keen to get the upper deck started so that it looks, takes more of a more form on. So we've got, let's we'll go with wood. Let's do one more wood run and then we'll start building. Lots of wood over here. Imagine that. Jump by a level 140 saber tooth. Alright. You follow me around. Choppy chop. Uh, there's Jaboas all over the place. We've got about five Jaboas or something at the moment. I need to learn how to turn off their uh, warning sound thingy. Oh, really? Oh, two. Oh. I need to t turn off their warning things because it's a bit irritating when there's so many of them. We get it. We get it, Jaboas. We get it. <laughs> Did you not see the flotsam pieces? What are the flotsam pieces? There's flotsam pieces? What are these flotsam pieces you speak of? Oh, these bits you mean? The float foundation thing? Yeah, so... I need to make five, six beer barrels and five uh, metal. It's a good good point, though. I, I, I do like... What is that? Is that a hyena? They usually come in packs. Hmm. Don't like them. They killed me last time I was trying to... Because they're just annoying to kill. Yeah, look, that's the leader of a pack. That's annoying. Okay, we'll go over this way. Death awaits us at every turn. Actually, come here, you. Have this. Out the way, moss chops. If you build on a raft, we can't spawn in casino pieces. They don't work on platforms. Oh, really? Oh, I got you. So does that mean if you... So if I use those plat those flotation pieces, that it would work? Because it counts as a building? As like a foundation? Rather than a raft? Um, by the way, I'm not building on a raft. It's, it's, a, it's a fixed position, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, Dark Days. Yeah. No, it's uh it's a fixed position. 
I wasn't originally going to do a casino bolt, but the more I thought about the Wild West theme, I kind of had half a, uh, an idea. And then when I first came in, uh, in the RP, Willard was like, oh, build a casino bolt. And I th I've got a feeling, I think Cletus wanted to do it. So I'm, I'm kind of not sure if I should do it, but I can always, I should just DM and ask him if he wants to do it. Anyway, we'll build a boat. We're going to be gin smugglers, gin runners. That's kind of our the theme that we're going with, with, with the, uh, with the, 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 the other, others in the crew came up with. I like that idea. All about that gin gambling. Gamble. Oh, oops, sorry. So I didn't mean to bump you on the nose there. My bad. Yeah, exactly. That, exactly. That's where that's where we've uh, what I've turned towards. So I've got a couple of images to work with with paddle steamers. Um, I might end up changing the front of the boat again, but for now we're just using it as a little practical, you know, crafting warehouse or something. And I, the only thing is, I just hate how long it's taking me to get past this phase. It's taking me forever to get past this kind of setup phase because it's just so much, so much material. You can make custom recipes in a campfire with notes. Uh, oh, excuse you. So I've seen... What does the upgrade station do? Does it allow me to, like, improve my armor? Does that imp let me improve my armor, for example? Because that would be... Uh, that would be great. Because then I could... If I can get more against the heat because then I would dish those out for people visiting so cause I, the last thing it's a real RP killer if everyone just gets a heat wave and starts dying left right and center you know <laughs> get out of here moss chops this is my bolt it's my bolt You can upgrade the heating and cooling stat of any piece of armor. Oh, wow. Okay. Cletus wants to build a big entertainment. <laughs> wow. So harsh. Everybody always gives him such a hard time about that. I'm always reluctant to do so. <laughs> I mean, he's used to it by now, anyway. <laughs> it's funny, though, that any time a server does lag, everyone's like, Cletus, what did you build? <laughs> what did you do? Oh. Okay, let's... I'm... I'm... Curious... I need, hang on, I, I need, this is, this is stupid, not working in the dark like this. Torch. One stone. Emit. <laughs> I put the stone in here. One stone, sir. Right, let's just this this, this this stop messing around with this lighting circumstance. It's annoying. All right, I can see a little bit what's going on. Uh, okay, so in one of these, oh wait, 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 Jaboas. Jaboas. How do I turn the noise of the Jaboas off? Behavior. Uh, 
I don't know. How do you turn off the noise? Is it, uh... No, I don't see it. Enable mating. Make them make a different noise. Bullet to the back of the head. Eat the tail. <laughs> wow. Okay, whatever. Um, upgrade station. Crafting. Oh. Mill. <gasps> oh, you know, oh, coffee grinder. What the fudge? Seed crafter. Penguin PTSD. No, I hear you. I know. Okay, am I? Am I? Is that the wrong table? Hey, Real Slayer, how are you doing? Hey, Christodoulos. Hey, Peacemaker. Musical note symbol under behavior. Oh, hang on. Change to ignore whistles. No, he's still doing the tail thing. Disable ally looking. Okay, I don't know. If anybody knows how to turn that off, let me know. Not in there. Where, which table was the upgrade thing in then? We've got the salvaging station. So that just grinds materials out. Good morning, Bonty, sir, ma'am. How you doing? This is just a stylus tape. Wait, what's that? Antler crown. Oh, I was hoping it was things for the wall. I don't see it. That's the weapons bench. The forge. What the heck, man? No? I don't see it anywhere. We could build one of these if we, a windmill if we want some heat, uh, some electricity though. Some ele some electric lighting could look pretty cool. Mirror, mirror. Wow. Okay, you need a lot of pearls for that. No, I don't know where it is. Okay. Oh well, whatever. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to make lots of wood pieces so I can continue uh, processing. Or continue uh, extending the bolt. It's got to start looking more bolt-like. Good morning, sir, ma'am. How, how's the snow? Hey, Zatelia. How you doing, bud? What's going on?
Okay, something something got murdered. Some oh god. <laughs> I really just need to put some uh some fences up, I suppose. <laughs> it's kinda of ridiculous. Come on, Rex. You're too big to hang out up there. Come on. You don't, you're not supposed to build the boat. Okay. Candy's just right over there just eating whatever whatever that was that made that fatal mistake to attack us. Coffee number two. Nice. Little muscle aches and pains, but otherwise doing good. Yeah, I guess the clearing, right? Oh man, I'm glad you're doing good though, Bonte. Another long weekend. Oh, we could... Uh... Change the color of the thing. So maybe is the upgrade station is that maybe something that's just placed at these um, train stations? Maybe I just need to go there and uh, and use it then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Let's try and make some quick progress. Oh yeah, like we say in German, uh, April, April, Mafas as well. April does what it wants, weather-wise, or well, something along those lines. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. I wonder if I should use some of these rope ceiling things for it being like the cargo hold on that level. That could be kind of fun. Different. Just go like that, like for the middle of the ship. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I like that idea. Okay. Alright, what's this? This is squares here. Okay, I need a load of wall pieces actually. Kind of made a slight mistake there, but it's okay. Because really, I need the walkways on the side of the ship for it to really start feeling ship like. Am I going to bring that in there? I think I'll bring that in there. Yeah, we got to there. That's good. And then that's just where the ship just disappears into the... Into where the river's gone or where it's sunk. I just realized my fatal error. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. It's fine. Okay, you can get in and out of there. Let's take this one away anyway. Oh, 
Stupid tail clipping. Okay. I saw that little dingo there. Go away. You dingus. You dingus. Okay, so we need a bunch of uh, we need a bunch of walls. <laughs> My name's Dingus the Dingo. scaffold again let's make a bunch of these because these are quite fun Anger the Rex. You will pay dearly if you anger the Rex. <laughs> Go away. I don't like you. Go away. <laughs> You're annoying. Not bueno. Okay. These these pieces we'll probably have to replace at some point anyway. So. If we want people to come along and be able to walk on the promenade so if this is going to be the gambling this is going to be the gambling den and then we need another walkway on this side of the ship as well okay I think we can get this going on like that little bit of symmetry oh uh, 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 <laughs> I made it <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then the moral ops should hopefully be able to fit underneath there and be able to move in and out yeah that'll work that'll work nice So this can be like cargo hold. So bunch more roof pieces. This is going to be for the stairwell. I think we need another stairwell on this side as well. Mm 
Coffee break in 15. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we've got triangles here. So now actually stairs up there. Is that gonna help? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how I'm gonna do that bit now. Okay. So uh some more triangles. We'll do it like this. This will be the way into the pilot's cabin area. Doesn't need to be too big. And then this will be, uh, as you come up the stairs, you're going to turn back. If you're a passenger, you're going to turn back that way and you're going to go to that area there. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Although I'm tempted to put the stairwell further back. We might actually just do some stairs further back that way anyway, to go up to that level. Bow needs to be a lot longer. Got to build with, with such scale. Could have just left it inside the animal, right? Might have made more sense. Gonna need a longer boat. I just need to get it to the point where it looks like a place where there's some space for people to come and visit rather than it just looking like a crew, you know, crew quarters, crew base at the moment, which is kind of kind of where we're at so far. If I don't have the gambling area. There's not much chance of calling it a, or, or, you know, sort of gambling and entertainment area. Uh, actually, I might, I think I might skip that one. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, squares. And my only question is... If I want to make an extra uh, bit of height over the gambling area to make it feel more comfortable. It's hard to tell because they changed the scale of everything in ARC. I think, yeah, I think we want a bit of extra height. So that's going to feel more comfortable. 
All right. Good to check. Let's get that one. I was thinking about the half walls. Ah! Because I think two walls up would be too much. Let me have a look at my reference steamboat pictures. Let's have a look. Thank you, Viper. Oh my god, it was called augmentation. Oh, we have to buy that for our... Oh, that's it. We have to get a hundred of these simple coin and buy that at one of the train stations. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So that's instead of having blueprints. All right. Good to know. Thank you. Um, half walls. What? Oh, cool quarter walls, yeah. So a bunch of wood. Well, they changed it, Mikios, for, for uh, Arc Ascended, and they made it so that the walls are uh, much, much taller. Um, so that's why I'm I'm not sure sometimes yet. Haven't spent enough time in it get uh, to get a feel for uh, what height. And they also added quarter walls and quarter ceilings and stuff like that. So you can do some quite funky uh, build stuff. Uh, let's see. What's it? Oh, okay, it's like that. So, if I do that, then I should be able to put a ceiling atop that. And then that would be... So, this would be the gambling den height here, I think. Yeah, so crew quarters is going to be on this deck. And that's just a one height thing. And then the gambling sort of entertainment room will be one and a half high here right you can also incorporate a big dino door if we want to do that not the not the mammoth one though, not the yeah that's gonna be so this when you've got more characters in a room this is gonna be more comfortable that that extra bit of height there is gonna be way more comfortable so we'll avoid that whole claustrophobic roof, even though the even though the the levels are higher than they were in per, in past in iterations. Now, how do I want to do this bit? Chewing on beard hair. Um. The stairs will clip, but there's no half stairs. There is only a shallow... Oh, we had this problem before. There's the shallow ramp. But there's no such thing as a half stair. Sadly. Um, that frustrated me when they launched it. Like, they bring the quarter walls. It's like... So you've got to make all the matching pieces to go with that, right? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Here's some really cool quarter wall things. And here's no stuff to go with it. Yeah, there you go, Mikios. That's cool. Can overlap the stairs? Yeah. But you but you can't have one like so you need somewhere for the stair to go, right? For the rest of the stair. Or it'll be it depends. If you've got a closed in building, you can do it. 
because then they'll clip through, right? And if it's hidden away, all good. But if you've got a situation like this where it's going to be open and visible, um, it won't work, right? I mean, I don't know. I'm just a, a learning by doing. So we'll see. Maybe we'll find a way. Uh, let's see. Let's make one of these anyway, and then... What was the other thing I wanted to try? I'm so glad I've got that w the wooden skin thing though, because that's that's really excellent. I could have even done. I could have even done the half height in the middle only, so that the gambling den has that elevated roof, but there's no quarter wall. There's quarter wall railing. Well, no, because the railing is then a full length. If they'd done a quarter wall like window and stuff, that would have been cool. Hmm. All these fancy ideas and not and nearly the brain power to enact them. Made it. First try. Okay, cool. There we go. And then the cabins up at the top here are going to... is going to be three wide. So we'll make a big long thing three wide on the top that's going to be... yeah, that's going to be where the cabins go. Oh, you know what I need? Is I need... I need to make some of that glass stuff. Nah, no, that won't work there. I could have, I could have had a, we could have had a, an elevated central area that's got a glass, that's got a glass roof. Although I don't know if you want a glass roof with desert heat beaming down on your poker table. I think about that. I might change that. I might change that at a later date. Hmm, we'll keep that one in the back pocket as an idea. We'll keep that one in the back pocket. So we'll have one of these so you can come out to the balcony off the side. That's going to be nice. Have another one symmetrical on the other side. That's going to be nice. And we need a bunch of triangles that are going to go on the outside, around the outside. And then, yeah, just need to work out how I'm going to... Just need to work out how I'm going to connect from this height to that height. Unless they changed it and it magically. So you've got the shallow ramp. I could use the shallow ramp from the middle. But if I go stairs, they're, um, eh, come on. No. Flip. Pretty flop. But yeah, you can see what it's going to do. It's going to... It's 
so annoying. <laughs> coffee o'clock, nice. Okay, gang, I'm going to take a quick coffee break. Some adverts will run for three minutes. Anywhere between one and 69 ads will run, but they will only be three minutes. And they help keep the coffee flowing and our charity uh, efforts and endeavors uh, funded as well. So I'll be right back with you. Actually, I better go into safety, right? All right. Enjoy. You know what? Maybe I can leave you a view of the town for those that are still here. There you go. It's a shame that green light's there, to be honest. <laughs> kind of kind of ruins it. All right, I'll leave you with the... Uh, with this. Your attention, please. Advertisements are now running to support good causes. Thank you, please.
Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep the groove, shall we? Oh, we're just doing a bit of slow build work. Right. Okay, uh... I quite like this idea of working with the scaffolding. Even though we're gonna have to replace it all afterwards. But I quite like the idea of it just looking... looking like that. So yeah, let's just knock up 10 of those. So again, it looks like a shipwreck that we're restoring or something. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get some more over. What do we got over here? I still want people to be able to hop on and off. So they can do that through that gap there. That works. And then up top we want some more scaffolding. It looks pretty neat. I like it. Can make some fun shapes. there No, you can do a few. There's some bits where you can turn the snapping off. Yeah, exactly, Zatalia. Exactly. I love it. They're actually really straightforward. I was worried they were going to be like a enshrouded style, like a big block piece or whatever. But actually, they're just simple snappable pieces. So it kind of looks, looks cool. I, that's why I'm thinking of doing some dry dock with them. sure what we can do snapping wise with them let's have a look um yeah so snapping is mandatory with the scaffolding pieces yeah i mean a free form build wherever you want type solution in here would be i mean probably be a mess but it seems like it would be good fun So, if I go there, and then I go... I could do that, right? So this, that could be fun, a switch back to the upper level. Because I guess with the mod, it won't look as bad. And I wonder if that can take a railing. I wonder if that can take a railing. 
That that cause that then it would work. Yeah, I've been thinking about what to do with the water wheel. I also have an idea of how to do the chimney stack, the smog stacks. I'm not entirely sure how to do the wheel though. That's cool. Look at that swivel stool. So you've got these fireplaces, which will give off some smoke and have a tall stack above them. Um, but I was also, I'm also thinking about using some quarter like metal if we even have the metal building pieces oh no we don't have the metal building pieces okay because they're trying to keep it cowboy okay so in that case maybe the stone or maybe just carrot well I can't they can't really be wood i suppose they could be what is this rope wood pillar See, that painted black could work, maybe. Rope wood pillar. We'll have to build one of those and see what that looks like. So this will be... You'll come up here and either you're going to stay in the gambling area... You're going to stay in the gambling and entertainment area, which will be here. Uh, and we'll have like a little balcony railings and stuff like that. Or you're going to go up to the cabins. Maybe there'll be a bar up here, a little bar. And a VIP. Yeah, oh, a bar at the back. So you're looking out to the desert and drinking some dry gin. That could work well. Get out of here, horses. What's going on? What, what is this horse central now? Is that? Uh-oh. It's a murder kitty. Yeah, I've seen. I've got half an eye on that. those extra quarter walls we're gonna have to do another wood run oh they would run though wouldn't they though
Oh, thank goodness. Probably need that many. Chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> We might have a new crew member soon, TM. It's actually too many to carry. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, wait, the wood. Imagine trying to do this all in Adobe. Oh. We've got that upgrade to look forward to. I feel like the game is lagging. It might be the storm. Hey, Sublight, how you doing? Welcome on in. Now, here's the thing. Three ramps there, maybe? Hmm. No, I know what I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna do some of this. Oh, perfect. We can have railings on these. Oh, fantastic. That's great. Nice. Okay, perfect. That's going to give it more of a bolty, bolty McBolt face feel. Excellent. Inside a wall. Like so. Yeah, because we've got to remember they've got the extra outside here. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Get in there. So we're going to need uh, 
some sort of filler for here. Which I think could be like that. No, 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 no. I don't, not whistling, Dixie. Yeah, okay. It's the Wild West. There's got to be a degree of risk. There's got to be balconies that you can have a bar fight and throw everybody over a tavern brawl. <laughs> hey, Pip, how you doing? Happy weekend to you. about that fuzzy I'm, I'm not a big fan of the DLSS some of the graphical looks that you get okay so then uh, the upper cabin level we're gonna have I think window are we gonna go window 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 Actually, this could be all like port, port, port holes. That could look quite kind of cool. And then we're gonna just do little like, I don't know. That'll be a cabin. That'll be a cabin. So just like single block, but three, one by threes for the cabins. I think. I mean, you know, it's not going to be like the big saloon or, you know, the full on saloon and that. But you've got to have some gin. It's got to be Bravo some gin gone. served. Oh, God. I'm a tad thirsty. Thank you. <laughs> and a tad hungry. Oh, can't steal your food. You ain't got none. some music um just chill out channel on pretzel not liking it i just thought well well we're slow on action yeet The, the, the wild west storms are pretty cool and the fact that they leave tumbleweeds everywhere is a fun element to it uh, mm, 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 mm. oh yeah we need to do some quarter walls dry rye breads top food tip
I wonder. That could almost be railings, couldn't it? But then it could be annoying when dust storms come. Good morning, Finn. Welcome aboard. Have the weekend? No. 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 Yes. Okay, there we go. Looks a bit more stable now. It's not going to fall in on us. I do like this scaffolding look. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, now, I wanted this to have... I needed to have maybe done some rounded edge stuff at this point of the ship as well. Oh, there's someone running around over there. Do I change it? change this bit I don't know how oh, to make it that connecting that up is gonna be a nightmare though although triangle edge here uh, and then triangle no that's gonna it's gonna put the frame there that's not gonna work that'd be a nightmare okay right we've got to make a rampy ramp another ramp rampy ramp needed uh, we were in here. Oh, fiddlesticks. Uh, what else do we need? Walls. Hey, foster kindness. Okay, let's see how we go. could do here is we alternate these with a door then a portal and then another door and then over here a door and then over here a window that on the right? Yeah, I guess so. Really, excuse me. Hard at work here. Hard at work. 
These pixels aren't going to move themselves. <clears throat> no, no, no. There you go. So you've got cabin with a portal window out the other side. Cabin with a portal window out this side. And another cabin with a portal window to that side. So the guests have the illusion of more privacy because the windows and doors are the opposite sides of each other. Perfect. Somebody get HR on speed dial. I'm trying to build a sort of riverboat casino style thing. That's the that's the general gist of it. And then uh so over here we're getting into the control area. Now I don't know how if I wanna leave this more open. But with these storms Oh I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a Yes, we're gonna do the quarter wall. And then we're going to do the connecting pillars or whatever and not pillars, something thin. And we're going to do, uh, so it's got a covered roof, but it's kind of open <clears throat> on the sides. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Got it. So I need the quarter walls, which I think I made some already. Two of these for aesthetics as well. That could look quite cool. Yeah, this is actually a uh, like a shipwreck or dry dock kind of uh, setup. So I'm not actually using a boat this time <clears throat> because it's uh, it's really difficult to work with uh, boat pieces. I don't think that piece should be there. It's got to be fairly squared off because it's just the type of boat that it is. That looked good. <clears throat> and then over here. This kind of so, yeah. So here would be like the steering column, or steering wheel, or whatever. See, now it's like, see how tall a quarter wall is. <laughs> these kind of things <clears throat> from there 
All right, let's see what it looks like when we pretty it up a little bit. I'd love it if I could whitewash that. It would look really cool. Because a lot of these boats were like whitewashed. But not something the white doesn't take to the wood. So not going to be what we've got, unfortunately. There's already a few things I would do, like, next time. But I'm not. There would be quite significant, like, structural changes now. So I'm just kind of going to carry on going with it as it is. I might change up the front of the boat a bit later. Because that shouldn't be too difficult. But it could also just be the fishing area. So... I don't mind it too much. There you go. There's a little fish up there. Delightful. Uh, and then all of this... Oh, this was going to be a walkway with some covering over it. That's why I had that other piece on the other side. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. A mock a mock up of a river boat. Like, you know, trial and error, as with all my buildings. I've never built something like this before, so we'll give it a go. Let me have a look at my river boat picture, because I haven't done that for ages yet. Hmm. Yeah, it's basically a big rectangle with us on top of a boat form with a smaller rectangle above it and another ever decreasing rectangles and really the wheelhouse should probably be right on the top uh, and I need uh, yes I need to work out how I'm going to do my I need to test how I'm going to do my chimney stacks or my uh, smoke stacks I need to see how that's going to work let's do a bit of this pretty it up a little bit So it looks a little bit more of the part. It's amazing how much nicer the wood looks when it's skinned. that you can look at the stuff to skin from quite far away and, and it still works that's actually a really nice touch so that you're not gonna have to be scrammed in scrambling all over the place all constantly probably are for other building reasons but at least not for that oops I also like that you can take it back off again at another click and how instantaneous it is, is, uh, is another neat aspect of it. Very cool. Very cool. There we go. Could almost be crew quarters. Oh, no, let's make that. Paying passengers. Yeah, they've got the view and everything. Crew quarters down below. All right, now, excuse me, Mr. Mr. P Horse, you're. I need you to move along. <laughs> move along. I'm not going to be able to build much more there. Yeah, I can change all this Adobe as well to uh, 
to the wood look as well. That's going to be cool. Now I guess this bit's going to be railings. Yeah, we want as much of the ship sort of open as possible. Even if it doesn't suit the sandstorms. <laughs> if it's going to give me a gentle slope down there but I don't suppose it will hmm. that's There's fine you're not gonna damn right and he's in my shower <laughs> morning <laughs> good morning sir how are we diddly doing we're working on our casino riverboat Bit of riverboat gambling. Never hurt no one, except the people it did. So much nicer. So much nicer. It's like being an Atlas. <clears throat> Not re-downloading the game? No, there was an update. But thankfully, the, uh, I don't know, fix or fixes seem to have stuck, so we're able to play. We have beaten update boss for now. There was even a Conan update today while I was uh, updating Ark, and I was like, are you, you two games are just trolling me right now. But both of them updated se uh, successfully. Now, the only thing here is... Yeah, oh, I totally regret it. This I should have done this as a line of triangles. I totally regret this line here not being triangles. Can I change that without too much pain? Shouldn't I be playing saloon star music if I had saloon star music? Hang on. Wasn't there a cowboy channel? Oh my god. Was there? It was country channel. We go with this. Things that make you go, hmm. It's 
So the question is... Yeah, if I, I, I feel like we have to go triangle there. Oh... Have I fixed the music? Is that better? Is that what everybody wanted? You happy now? <laughs> you happy now? <laughs> that what you wanted? Because that's what you got. This is going to be a real pain. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, see, because it needs to be replicated on the level below as well for it to make sense. Fodge. Or... No, maybe it, maybe it doesn't. No, actually it doesn't. I might just get away with it. I think I, I think we can get away with it. I don't know how many of these pieces we can pull up before something goes crunch. But we'll see. We'll see if we can get... I think we can get away with it. Good morning, Dark Star Gaming. You feel like you're getting your yeehaw on this music? Okay, then we're going to stick with this. I like it. Don't say we don't give... Uh, our audience what they what they desire what they demand oh sugar I already had a whole bunch of those oh sugar hey I love that this is the track that popped up first Oh yeah, this is uh, we need we need the triangles here. So the only ah uh, the only bit that doesn't work is that bit. Ah, oh, that sucks. Or I'm not sure anymore. I've I've lost confidence in the plan. I've lost some confidence in the plan. <laughs> confidence in the plan is an all time low. Because if I wanted to do that, I'd have to, I'd have to. There's somebody with a slew. Oh, sugar. Hello? found someone who um, was alone out in the wilds. I uh, don't know if you'd want to give him a job or something. Oh, okay. Hello there. Was it? Sorry, say again, sir? Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Flawless, was it? Oh, uh, well, the name's Robert F. Lawless. Uh, I'm the head ah. of uh, the Flawless Shipping Company. I think that's why people get mixed up. Well, I mean, I call you Mr. Flawless because, uh, company, shipping company. Well, there you go. I suppose it makes sense as a marketing, uh, uh, approach, you know, Mr. Flawless and his flawless ships. Anyway, uh, Robert is the name or, uh, to whom do I have the pleasure? 
Nias, PhD. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Nias. P. Well, what's what's what? What does a PhD mean? Is that? It sounds like some sort of desert disease. Because I'm an educated man. I have a uh, doctorate in zoology, specifically animal husbandry. Oh, I see. Okay, so you you do a lot with the animal mating, I guess. Uh, like to study animals in the nature in the uh, in nature, and I am able to uh, you know get the best out of any uh, animal I see. I see. If you catch my drift. Oh, very good. Okay, yeah, that sounds sounds tremendous. Uh, one moment, let me just check my paperwork because uh, I'm expecting somebody in. One moment. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good for numbers. Uh, so what? So you're looking forward to doing some work with animals, is it? You know, if I'm part of a community, I'll help out in the other way of, as well. Well, we're part of the Greater Arkstone community here, run by Mr. West uh, and uh, and his associates. They're setting up a saloon, and I'm currently in the process of trying to. Uh, uh, well, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I guess I'm doing boat husbandry, trying to uh, take an uneducated guess at making a lovely river boat that's going to host a, uh, a gin bar in a small casino area for a bit of gambling on the water. The West character, the mayor you spoke of? Yeah, he's, he's in charge. Ah, I see. And, uh... Well, if I'm going to be living here, potentially, potentially not, uh, what's he like? Um, what, what am I signing up for? Oh, he's a, he's a good chap. Yeah. He's, uh, he's uh, you know, a bit flamboyant. He's marketing his line of uh, food and uh, drink, uh, a lot of, a sort of West... Uh, oriented a lot, a lot of stuff under mm. under his own name and branding. Uh, I gave him the idea yesterday for a chicken wing called the West Wing with some spicy sauce, and he the, seemed to um, quite like it. He's the one who made that wagon. Yes, the uh, physics-defying wagon. I saw. Yeah. I don't like it. Well, he might. <laughs> you, you, maybe you can assist him. Maybe you can give him some educational uh, support. In uh, of, honestly. Uh, I feel like if I were to apply logic to that wagon, it would explode tremendously. I mean... So I'm I'm fine leaving it as it is. Yeah, that probably goes for a lot of things around this area. So, I mean, as long as you're, you can accept that your logic might make other people and all their animals and all their buildings or vehicles explode from time to time, it, you'll fit right in. Well, uh, explosions aren't the worst thing I've seen. Mm, that's what she said. All right. Well, uh, let me bring you on in, and if nice. you uh, don't 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 feel any uh, pressure or whatnot, uh, we're building the boat. It's going to be for you know mainly for entertainment purposes. There's a a simple little uh, crafting and storage area down the bottom. We've got a lovely little couple of grandkids. I seem to have adopted two grandchildren working with us. Uh, Frank and Scribs. Mm. Uh, they're they're having a nap. Had a long night. Well, and uh, Josh, honestly, you've already met. Honestly, sir, I've spent the last two days dehydrated, constantly passing out in the desert. So seeing this much society again is refreshing. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, well, uh, let me uh, sign, hand you over some paperwork here. All right. There we go. If you just oh. sign your life away on the dotted line. I've got, um, I've got some things, really good things for you. Oh, wonderful. I like good things. Here we go. Welcome aboard. Well, thank you. I uh, appreciate the invitation. Mm -hmm. Who's this gentleman traveling with you? Oh, I, uh, I, I be uh, Joe Fritz, sir. I, I kind of live uh, a little bit uh, over there in the hills. I kind of have just like my own little uh, resource supply company that I kind of run. Oh, I see. Up in hills, yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh, well, nice to meet you, uh, Joe. Joe Fist, was it? Yeah, Joe Fritz. Oh, Joe Fritz. Okay, yeah, it's the heat's got my mind on the Fritz. Okay, well, what kind of resources do you supply, Joe? Uh, it, it pretty much. Uh, since I have access to the metal up there, it's pretty much metal, woods, and uh, it's pretty much anything that people need. I can help out. Oh, okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Do you uh, uh, do you know anything about industrial cookers? 
Um, sadly, no. I, I, the, the most I know is like pretty much <laughs> find a rock, find a tree, gather it up, put it into one of my piles, and go back out. I see. Go oh, on. That, I'm kind of a simple man. I got my little cooking pit and uh, some of my other my old four Z's is up there going. So, yeah. well, Anyone nothing, need nothing, haircut? nothing wrong with being a simple man. Uh, this world progresses built on the backs of simple men like your good self. It's uh, always appreciated a resource gatherer. Yeah, so I still, as you said, I still need to meet the mayor at some point. Uh, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I kind of just. I kind of wake up weird and odds, odds and ends to sadly not uh, not see him. So oh, yeah, I well. got to meet with Sir Daniel. So I, I live on a half shipwrecked boat, so I wake up with a lot of end, odds and ends and uh, tumbleweeds every day. Uh, yeah. well, that's fine. Yeah, he's usually around these parts, so I'm sure he's probably going to be uh, around if you wait. I don't know about seven hours. <laughs> He'll probably bump into him. Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably be sleeping a little bit for that when we actually. Oh, yeah, I don't probably close my eyes for a little longer. Yes, but he'll be very pleased. He was hoping that we could bring some more foot traffic through the uh, burgeoning uh, town of Arkstone. So he'll be very chuffed to see more people joining up and more people uh, flowing in and out. Uh, he's very keen on uh, people earning themselves some coin and spending it all here at our various uh, drink and uh, gambling dens. Woo, fine. Hmm. Yes, and I... I hope to apply my expertise in the future, perhaps uh, sell some uh, well-bred creatures to uh, people around these parts. Oh, that'll be delightful. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I've got. A, I've actually, I've got. A, I've got a special request for you, uh, uh, Mr. Vale. Uh, if you know how to uh, breed Jaboas that don't go all day long, I'd really appreciate it. Well. Uh I, I've looked into it, and unfortunately, if they don't do that, they die. Oh, bloody it's hell. Unfortunate. Yeah, well, they're too cute. We can't let them die. What we might have to do is I, I might build a special Jaboa viewing platform at the very, very, very back of the boat, like really far, that is practically on another boat somewhere. What you should do is uh, make a prison. <laughs> and... Uh, if if someone breaks the law, you put them in a pit full of Jaboas, and they just have to listen to them burr all day. I like the way you think. Yeah, okay. Well, welcome aboard. <laughs> Hope you're going to enjoy your uh, your stay here. Feel free to uh, uh, use the, the animals. There's a few that have got some tags on them for specific purposes or personnel, but otherwise, just, uh, you know, grab what you see. Uh, Honestly, and, uh, I do need to go to sleep here soon, so if you could uh, point me to a uh, room I can pass out in, I'd appreciate it. Okay, so uh, there's two options. The the, oh, the main yes, I was one, which you tag my creature. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, this little shipping office up here that Josh built is is nice and uh, weatherproofed. So if you uh, sleep in there, you probably won't wake up with heat stroke, probably. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, which which room again? Uh, up here is the oh, little ship, the little shipping office that Josh put together, and uh, yeah, it's nicely weatherproofed. So, so this one will probably see you waking up without any heat stroke or that kind of oh. issue. Otherwise, the front of the hull of Stroke the boat down is there is also uh, pretty pretty uh, secured right now. But the, your best bet, short term, is probably in there. It's a nice, simple room people can go to cool off in. Right, well, uh, I appreciate it, gentlemen. It was fantastic to meet you. Yeah, it was like good I said, I, I do also. need to take a bit of a nap. Oh, uh, Mr. Lawless, do you yes, need your hair uh, trimmed? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's, it's... Uh, what did you say your name was again, sir? I'm, oh, I no, it's, it's no worries. My name's uh, Joe, Joe Fritz. All right, Joe. Well, uh, you said you run a resource company, like a trade company? Yeah, well, it, yeah, kind of just, uh, it's just also to help kind of like settlements like this too, so. I'm well, hopefully, uh, money hopefully we can do business in the future, sir. Yeah, of course, that'd be great. Yes. Yeah, it, I, I just kind of live right up there in the hills. Uh, I kind of have like another like a uh, big water tower like they do up on a hill, and that's where I kind of live at. All right. Very I nice. look forward to seeing you again soon. 
Yeah, I'll see you search around also. Yes, but look yeah, after I yourself. Also. Don't yeah, get eaten course. by anything I wouldn't. Doesn't narrow it yeah. down much. Ah, oh, where did he go, Josh? Yeah, yeah. Where you at? Oh, there you are. Yes. Sorry, you yeah, were saying? Up? I've found crystals and uh, obsidian. Oh, marvelous, marvelous. Oh, that's fantastic. That's going to be a great help for us. Well done. Might even be able to use some of those glass pieces they've got. Finally. You know, you can make glass, uh, you can uh, make wood look like glass with the uh, the paint, so to speak. Wait, with the paint? You know what I mean, right? No, I haven't worked out how to do the uh, uh, saloon glass yet, or the saloon doors. The uh, the looks for the wall, if they're made out of wood, you can you can make them look like uh, glass. That's what uh, I did for the house uh, windows. Oh. How, how does one do that? Is that the normal wood walls, or is that the rusty uh, walls? It's the rustic walls to make it look like glass. You put a normal wall. Uh, you put a normal wood wall, and then you put make the rustic ru uh, words, rustic wall, look. You know. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll have to look into that because I want to use some of that in the, uh, around the boat. Also, I got a new. Fr uh, I got a new friend as well. Oh goodness me, horsey. Is it a horse or a zebra? Oh, it's a, a happy chappy. Or chappess. Oh, very nice. I bet that's a pretty quick one. Yeah, and he can also... Um, I can make lassos with him as well. I'm going to go see how fast I can ride him. All right, but don't go too far here. There's a storm brewing. All right, there's going to be a server restart soon. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, delightful. That's nice. We've got another newcomer aboard. Um, the crew, burgeoning crew, and uh, and we've got Joe, the supply guy. That could be really handy given how much bloody wood I'm going through here let alone the cactus and sand oh yes this conundrum do you know I I might just mirror what's below there and leave this square and have done with it yeah. hey Bubba Gaming how you doing Good morning, welcome on in. Good morning, Dark Star. Uh oh, uh oh, what the? Where's the? What is that? What on earth is that? An arthropleura. What the heck is an arthropleura? My goodness. I bet that it looks like an insect of some sort. It's like a millipede or a centipede. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, why? Why? Why is that suddenly a thing? <laughs> oh! Look, better quality, but only the ramshackle gloves. Sadly. Not, uh... Not the cloth armor. Not the desert armor. Well, that's kind of disgusting. We've got giant centipedes living here now. Time to move. Just from is to was yeah, rather quickly as well, right? <laughs> so, wait a minute. This this rustic thing. Oops. Glass. Okay. But the rustic, so to make the glass. Is this the thing? 
There's a rustic toilet as well. Tremors vibes. <laughs> Greenhouse wall. It sounded more like a skin though. Rustic wood wall. Our oh, rats, we don't have any. Uh... Oh, we do. This the thing? Oh wow. Look at this. Neat. Oh wow, look at that. <gasps> we'll be able oh my goodness, that will let us do the circles on the side. They've got wall caps. <laughs> I don't know why I got so excited about that. Wall, actual wall caps. Whoa, can I get four of these in a circle? Can I, oh, I wonder if I can place those on top of each other. That could be our wheel, chat. That could be our wheel. Oh, that would be really neat. That would be really neat. I wonder, I wonder if we can get that upside down there. Quite expensive though. With all that metal. Still, it's only going to be a one-off. Lordy, that's cool. I really hope that can go upside down like that. That would be fantastic. Let's hope. Let's hope, chat, that it will go upside down. It does, it does go upside down. It won't go off the end there though. But look at that, that could give that sort of water wheel effect, right? Oh, that's really neat. That's really neat. That's because I've got my stupid half wall. Oh, if I have the half wall on there, I don't know. So um, I, I built a gaming on there. Uh, computer. <laughs> oh. It's in the house. Oh, I don't know what that is. Well, I found these fancy rounded uh, pieces that can help me fit my uh, steamboat nice. water wheels in place. That's going to look uh, look nice, yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, they've added dust storms and that. Some of the effects are really great. But Ark is still suffering from that kind of transition phase, I guess, that it's in where some of the stuff looks really cool and some of the stuff looks uh, 
A little bit jank. <laughs> Overall, though, it does look better. Hopefully they can iron out some of the, the bits that don't look so good over time. All right, let me just double check because there's going to be a... Uh, Um, otherwise, uh, that we're going to have a surprise. Said reboot soon. I need to restart the game anyway. It's chugging a bit. From what I notice. Or I should say it's maxing out my GPU right now. <laughs> yeah, with them being split and that, I doubt it's going to happen. Which is a pity for Atlas. I mean, Atlas, the, the, the key part is the second part. The game needs to be properly developed and managed by people that care for it and that are willing to, you know, prioritize optimization and, and um, I don't know, <laughs> I'm going to say content, but like, yeah, I guess optimization and uh, no more janky sea waves and your boat going under the water and stuff like that. If they they need to eliminate the jank first before content, but the problem is the content would probably be what would sell the game more than eliminating the jank, so Yeah. Feels like it would pretty much be ha have to be just given to some some other people or at least some different leadership and direction. I quite. I feel like the ship is slowly becoming a ship. It's slowly giving that shit. Look, there goes the sandstorm. Look at that. I would say not quite as good as the Conan sandstorm, but you know their first iteration, not bad. So I think we're going to go back to square, and then we're going to bring. I don't know if to just put the railings on the edge there or to do another triangles on the outside. It could be kind of cool that it's the same pattern but shorter. have a look at what that looks like from the side hard to tell without the colors it's so sad that I can't have the whitewashing I was thinking of maybe looking maybe there's like a really light blue or something or silver or something that actually the wood takes and displays rather than the uh, rather than this uh, what's this this oh my god <laughs> we probably have to get rid of that because that's not really in the theme <laughs> that's funny though it's tucked out of the way anyway it's not hurting anybody as long as we don't put that in the middle of a of a, a communal RP uh, placement I don't think I'm going to build that extra wing on the outside. I don't think it needs that. But it would make it a nice covered walkway. In part, on the flip side, that could look quite nice. I still need to find something that's going to be the, the thin beams or pillars or whatever to look like it holding up. 
You know that scaffolding it actually works really well, doesn't it? It almost looks like it could be like struts holding the uh holding the walkway. Yeah, I don't think we need this extra wide part here, but if I did bring this, I could bring the cabins out, but I kind of and then I could have a three on top of that again. So I could have a five across here. And then a three above that as the next stack. And then what I need to do is I need to build this up so it's going to connect with the roof of that. So it should be just one more. Let's use a couple of these because we haven't... then that will connect all the way and it should connect to here I guess I don't know if I'll bring it all the way I might have a gap I might leave this bit uncovered I think uncovered and open though like that scaffolding looks quite cool there's a primitive version of it a restart it could be but the admins have already sort of made it clear they don't want anything that doesn't fit into the theme and they're sort of just doing it on like on an armor system but they're more worried about people having like high tech weaponry and and gear and that kind of thing. Yeah, it kind of works. If I could if I could get whitewashed look, I think a whitewashed look would look really really spot on. I'm always tempted to make it more uh like narrow at, at the front and but that makes it you've got a little bit of that with the river bolts, but not too much. They also have a very shallow I couldn't really build that much lower. It would just be invisible. Maybe should have built the nose a bit further out into the into the water here, but I didn't want to be like too close or like too dominant in the area. I, I kind of regret that I didn't bring it. It's, it's the old joke with Gamel and, and uh, Lanovar. I love it. Now I need to bring it forward five feet. Just bring it two meters forward, please. The whole thing. <laughs> they took out the berries hydrating you? Really? I mean, there's tons and tons of cactus around, so... The cactus is way more effective. Another sandstorm? Red looks pretty solid. The uh, the red and black theme to go with like blackjack is like a next best. I, I just want to make sure we build something that is in keeping with the town as a whole. Which I really love what they've done there with those uh, flat billboard square square ends and the signs. That, that's really, really cool. Cowboy's done a, 
don't know if it's cowboy or Cletus, but they th that's really good. I love those square ends. Those those wooden facades that you'd have. At least in Western movie mock-ups. Uh, that's really, really cool. I love that. Yeah, that really gives it a Western feel. The square ends like that. Well done. I do like this little promenade as well. That's really cool. You know, it's some it's just the little things sometimes, the little details. I think this would be quite cool though if we I don't know, maybe we can get them to extend the promenade. I think that might be the plan to bring that up this hill. My stamina is too low. Apparently there's a storm going on. But you can't see it visually. <laughs> you couldn't get the... You couldn't get the cactus to hydrate your character? I literally lived purely by having cactus on me. All the time. So I don't know, maybe it's buggy or maybe they've changed it? Your next best bet is to get one of those. Get one of those camels. Yeah, supposedly I'm in a sandstorm, but I think something's gone wrong visually. Server restart in five minutes. All right, we're going to go uh, have an early coffee break. Yeah, I couldn't get my stamina at all. Oh, here you go. Now that we're inside, we can see more of the storm than we could outside. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, there was a sandstorm not very long ago. Like within the last, I don't know, 15 minutes or something, feels like. And, uh... And that was like full-on visual. And then another one started allegedly, but it wasn't really visible outside. It feels more, as I said, feels more visible. Now I'm inside. Or by the door. Okay, it's finished. Uh, but yeah, we've got a reboot coming up. So I'll take a quick, uh, a quick drink break. Drinks break. Get a good stretch in. We're back. Yeah, yeah, that firefly feeling. Yeah. Agreed. Not a bad thing. I like the western theme is pretty cool. Um I th I think I wasn't sure if they if that would work in arc, but like I said, I think it comes down to the creativity and doing that with the with the flat signs in front of the buildings. Um, that makes a huge difference. And yeah, we'll see what we can get done. Maybe we do something like that on the front of this. On the upper part of the boat. Like, it, I'm think I'm leaning more in the direction of, like, it's a, it's a, a boat that we were building. And then the sandstorms came in and it kind of partially collapsed into the ground. So we've turned it into... You know, a fixed installation. Kind of, we can sell it like that. I like those rustic windows and stuff, though. We're going to have to go out and, and get an Anki and, and smack some metal around. I used to have an Anki, but something happened to it. <laughs> it got eaten by something that I never saw in my original starter house on the server on Tuesday. It just... One minute it was there, and the next minute I came back and there was a bag. <laughs> and I hadn't made a clan yet, so or a tribe, so I couldn't see uh I couldn't see what it was. Yeah, that's exactly Raddy. That's what I was kinda thinking. It was because I thought, well, we're not gonna be able to build an actual boat, and there's just not enough river, it makes no sense on this map. So I was thinking of exactly that, of like this is a, a shipwreck or that we're renovating or something. Either that or we're trying to build one in dry dock. But given how long it's taking to get all the materials, I don't know if I really want to build the dry dock. 
at all and just save the materials for the actual bolt but we'll see the dry dock might might make it look cool like they were try like somebody's previously has tried to one careless owner previously has tried to like excavate the ship and refloat it but then the the rivers really dried up and there was no point that's true we could have in fact we could use those rounded pieces i'm sure we could do something like that or we just have some scaffolding just have like one or two pieces along the hull that's made of that scaffolding once we've moved all of the crafting and storage out of there uh, so that it just looks like we've haven't been able to fully patch the hole closed but we've just uh put some timbers in place to stop it from collapsing in on itself all right let me uh get out well that restarts and uh yeah have a bit of uh diggy diggy hole back in five minutes just wait longer and i'm gonna restart the game uh, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'll grab a fresh uh, drink and whatnot. Thank you for hanging out with us, folks. We'll be back on as soon as we can be.
All right, let's see where we're at with the server. Good vibes, everybody. Good vibes. Is another restart coming in? Okie dokie. Thank you. Hello, Mast. On the YouTube, welcome in. Do, do, do. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? So apparently there's a station built near the green orb now. I wonder where that is. Since we're like right under it. I didn't see the tracks here, but we didn't have a look in Death Valley side. We've not really been anywhere today, have we? We've just been doing the build, so... I hope that's not been boring. At least it's picking up with a few people coming in now. Hey, Mr. No Face. Howdy, partner. Okay, four people are on. Fingers crossed, Purpley can get in today with us. Unnecessarily dramatic login music. <laughs> oh, thank you, Raddy.
Here you are, don't skip peg leg day. Forgot I had you. Willard and that are, are awake. <clears throat> I'm trying, I'm struggling because I hate squares. So, or squares at least without any depth. So I'm trying not to build too square, but it's, it's, Bit of a struggle when you're building a riverboat they generally are sort of oblongs is rectangles on uh, on a slightly rounded hull so well ah. adventurer and welcome i meant to do that to my underground lady l thank you for the Grumble's 17 long day. months of subscribing lad alien lad alien <laughs> Thank you so much for the 17 months of support. Much appreciated. Good vibes be with you. Do you know what we need? I thought of it during my break. We need to get slap some lighting on here as well. We need a way to get some metal. I wish the resource guy was still here. Resource guy! Resource guy! <laughs> I need and some metal. Well met, adventurer, and welcome to my underground lair. Thank you for the furlong months of subscribing, Bubbagum into 3 2. Bubbagum into 3 2. Bubba Gaming, thank you very much for the support, the prime on the line, and the four months. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's go. Let's go, gang. Maybe once we slap some more color on there. <clears throat> Greetings and good vibes, everybody. Greetings and good vibes. I feel like the cowboy music is... Well, it's not necessarily the best. It's not bad for sticking in the theme. I'm, 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 I'm getting into it got to say I am getting into it maybe I should build the little uh, dry docky thing there and try it out at least have the uh, passenger the steps for the passengers to come up and the gangplank Listen to RDR2 music. That's a, not a bad idea either. Yeah, I got an ambient mix of, of that somewhere. One or two tracks, maybe on the other PC. Could try those. I need more wood. Uh oh, what? <clears throat> I knew it. I knew that murder cat was going to come down here. How'd you like those apples, murder cat? <clears throat> <laughs> you won't get past our you won't get past our uh, Autobot okay everybody everybody take five I do appreciate that you're on red alert everybody take five okay position you into some sentry position uh, into, uh, yeah which 
chugger. Okay, we're gonna have to do another wood run. There's no way around it. Gotta do get some more wood. Wasn't there... Oh, I don't have a pickaxe anymore, do I? There's one in here, though. Didn't we see a bit of metal up on this hill? Oh, not a metal one. Okay. Let me just do that one. Because we saw an Anki up there. Let's have a look. There won't be anything dangerous up here. <clears throat> oh, sugar! Oh, Abbott! Oh my goodness! Well, you were only a level 20 kitty cat, so, uh... Anyway, how do you like those apples? <laughs> oh, here we go. Otherwise, I'm going to feel incredibly guilty. Uh, no? Metal, please, not stone. Stupid pickaxe. Gave mine away. <laughs> oh, that's, that's no good at all. Holy bonobos, Batman. That is officially a waste of a metal node. Holy bonobos. Oof. I got 16 pieces of metal out of that. That's rough. But it's raining, yay! Oh, there's an oil pump. Somebody's set up an oil pump. Wow, this is a nice little house, isn't it? Look at that. That's cute, with those wall ends and everything. Nicely done. And they even have some gar- Oh my goodness. They have some lovely uh, garden plots and things as well. Lovely. I'd like to see that. Are you going to give me any more this time? Is that your place, Patello? That's really nice. Nicely done. Oh my god, you scared the bejeebus out of me, Jaboa. I was like, what the heck is that creeping up behind me? No, go away. Go away. I don't want to hit you, Baxter. Go away. Is this official service? No, this is a dedicated roleplay server. I don't play official servers because I like to have fun. <laughs> I am not going into the valley of death with zero visibility. 
That is not something that's happening. What is that crane thing there? That's awesome. How does one make one of those? I need these for my dockyard. It's just called a crane. Okay. How do I make a crane? Crafted it. Oh my goodness, it's for free as well. Brewing? The special brew. Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh my goodness, that's cool. Oh, we need those down at the dockyard, man. That's That looks awesome. I'm so glad I saw that. Oh, you're a kangaroo. That's fine, I'm not afraid of you. Look at these oil barons. Is there another metal node up here I can find without death? Don't be a golem. Don't be a golem. Okay, you're not a golem. Oh. It unloads dinos? What? Wait, are you saying it takes stuff from a dino inventory? Where does it put it? I need this in my life. Is that what that does? Holy bonobos. Have we just found the answer to all of our unloading woes? Wherever you wanted to go. Holy cow, I didn't know this. Oh, oh, we are going home to build a crane. Chat, we're going home to build a crane. Having been in no threat whatsoever out here for once. Actually, we're going to get some cactus while we're here. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Not a lot else going cactus wise. Holy bonobos! Re wow! I was lamenting the lack of the old S plus functionality where you could transfer stuff around the visual storage gives you wireless crafting what 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 hey dubbers how you doing hey fridge where was that? I saw that visual storage. Where, where, where was that? Storage. Rustic storage. Storage box. No. That was in one of the... Uh, not decorative storage. Barrel storage. Oh, wow. That's cool. We can seal that up. It's a folder in the smithy. Okay, yeah, I've seen it somewhere. <gasps> oh my goodness. You've just made my... My afternoon. How you doing? You're now part of the server and I, I saw Fridge joining. So, and I was happy. And then I thought, well, Twisted's on here. So that's awesome. And then I had that afterthought. I was like, that might mean that Dub is uh, joining the server as well. So got to take the rough with the smooth, I guess. It's the uh, moral of the story. You've got to take the rough wow. with the smooth. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You know I'm only teasing. Okay, 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 okay. I'm very excited. 
Uh, I need to look in all the tables. This is this is not the one. No. Okay. Wait. Oh, what do we need for uh, polymer? It's gonna be in one of these. Was this? Tech Nabbit. Which was the which was the which was the one it was Which was the one it was in? No. It wasn't in this one, we just checked this one. Oh, normal smithy. Wait. Normal smithy. Structures. Try this. No. Green. Holy! One hundred metal ingots. Sugar. I mean, it's worth it. I'm only gonna have fifty if I uh, smelt that lot. Oh no! Yeah, you don't need the extra DLC, the Bob's Tales thing. You'll, you'll miss out on, like, it's the visuals and things, but most of the stuff you're going to get to see anyway. I can be immersed in it. Check out the folder on the first open. Ah. Thank you. Uh, sometimes I'm just blind what's in front of me on the screen. Like most of the time, to be honest. So, Dropbox, what would you. Small box or bin? Bin. Is that why they built these? Hey, vertical villain. Hey, good afternoon. Good vibes be with you. Well met. Oh, it tells you here what's in it. Crystal, flint, metal, obsidian, stone. Fiber, metal, stone, thatch, and wood. Oh, these are different variants of it. Okay, so these are... Different sizes or something? Orbin, bin. No, okay, it's a different... Okay. And the shed. These are really cool. That's going to use up a ton of metal already. So I've got 25 there and I can make about 50 more. 75. So that's still not enough to get the crane. So we're going to need another metal run. One drop box and a... Uh... A bin for each resource. Okay. So the, this bin here, the normal bin. Oh, that's cool. Allows for quick deposit and distribution to other storage containers. Okay, so I need to build the drop box anyway. Another server restart in five minutes. Little sticks. And this allows you to craft from these, these bins. That's amazing. All right, well, we'll make one of these. Wow, okay, that's really cool. So where should I put this drop box? I guess outside where, like, the name says in the tin, right? Would make sense. What? It just took everything out of my pockets? Oh, 
Oh, holy cow. Okay. Withdraw, stack, withdraw. Server restart to remove the crane. Oh, why? Why would you say that? Why, why would you say that? Okay, so I do transfer, okay. That's, this is pretty neat. So you could say withdraw just a stack of thatch. Oh, I like this. And the fact that you can... Distribution. What? What does this do? Tells you what we've got where. That's cool. Okay, there's going to be another server restart, gang. So go to distribution menu to send it. Okay. Distribution menu. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So, so what's in... If I say the thatch that's in here... Oh, I get it. Okay. And then I say, uh, large storage box, 100%. Save. Does that, is that what moves it? No. I'm not, I'm not understanding this bit. Oh, so it tells it where to go. So if I withdraw all of that and then I go deposit, no, it puts it back in here. It put it back in here. I press E again once it's in the deposit box. Ah, so that now is all in. Oh, server restarting. Oop. Thank you, Fatello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's cool. That's very cool. All right, server restarting here, gang.
I have to say as well, they've been really good at uh, processing the whitelist and everything. Like, they've been really on top of it. It's... I'm seeing everybody just getting through really quickly. So all the, all the applications that... Because there's been a lot of people applying and joining. That's, they do an awesome job. Yeah, because I could have a box, you know, upstairs that says, you know, building upper deck or something. And I could just grab the resources or send have the resources sent there. So when people come and make a delivery of resources, they go right to the point where I need them in the building structure. For a big structure, uh, that would be amazing. Hey, Cozy Sweets, how are you doing? How's how's uh, how's the crystal monopoly? <laughs> How are you doing, Cozy? Good morning. Welcome on in. Can we get a shout out for Cozy Sweets when we get a moment. If you have the bins, you can wirelessly craft in your inventory. Oh, even oh yeah yeah even better even better. Okay, so I need to make that uh, that bin or the different bins. Struggling with the last two big mods. Screenshot of the mods folder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on a sec, gang. Just trying to help Purpley get to get done with the mods. Where are the saved? That's if I know where the mod folder is. Oh, I found it. Purpley, some of those might be from my single player because I just found one that's called Dwarven Structures and I'm pretty sure we're not using that uh, on this server. So, yeah. Don't, that, that list's got more in it than, uh, let me type this in my DM as well in case you can't hear. Yeah, okay. Just got my 150 Thyla mail and he gave me a purple mutation. Nice. Nice. Big purple kitty cat. Oh my goodness. You're going to be able to um, take all of Cowboy's money. Willard's got a... He needs a... You need to tell him... That if he doesn't come up with this himself, it needs to be like, you'd need this to go with your purple building. Your purple uh, saloon or whatever. Because he's obsessed with purple. <clears throat> he's going to be so screwed, he's going to not ever have enough coin for that cat.
You're trying to get the order. I need parrots. I need parrots to keep the heat off. So. Holy cow, do you see how quickly that loaded in? Oh my god. That was awesome. Okay, so... Uh... Fatello visual storage. And we're going with... Not the ore bin, but the bin. Is that right? We're going with this bin. Does that want to be on the floor or on a structure? I don't know. Oh, I've got to smelt my metal down. I've got to smelt my metal down. Where'd I put my metal? Didn't I put it in here? Uh, ooh, what? Huh? No, that was the metal that was already there. Where's the? Where's my metal? Oh, I put it in the bin outside when I was playtesting. Is it better to smelt metal in the rustic forge or the normal forge, or does it make no difference? Anybody know? Rustic's faster? Okay. I trust you. Millions wouldn't. Holy cow! Yeah, okay. Nice. This thing's really cool. It's like, uh, that is, it's very cool. Oh, I'm so happy with that because because it's so it sucks not having the and the fact you've got global crafting with it. Or proximity crafting from your pocket. That's amazing. Wow, I can't believe that. I would have gone all the way through not knowing that if someone hadn't pointed that out. Thank you so much. Alright, baby Manolo. We've got to go gather some more wood. Okay, I got another question. Oh my goodness, there's a Titan Boa down there. Uh, what, 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 what are you doing? What are they all agitated about? Um, is the thorny dragon worth it for the wood? Like, is, is, is the amount of wood you get with the thorny dragon worth having one? Compared to my pickaxe. Ah, oh, sugar. No, no, no. You're no match for me. Silly wolf. Holy cow, that's loud all of a sudden. Aha! Look at her peas. Oh. 
I suppose for the hassle of getting it and only getting it murdered afterwards anyway. I might as well just uh, choppy chop. Worth it, but it has to be a good level. Okay. So that'll probably take me forever to tame and, and therefore. Alright. Thank you. Genuinely appreciated. What's that? That's a rock. I wonder if there's any more metal up here. Let's have a look. I've not been up here yet, so it's not that far from the base, but I've just not been up this 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 area. What could possibly go wrong? Hello moss chops. This looks like a place that would have metal. Oh my goodness, it's got oil. Clearly. <laughs> It's not going to have a rock monster, is it? Metal! That's the wrong tool. Hey, cheers, uh, Vertical. Have a good time outdoors. Good vibes, buddy. that metal node. I should just spend the five points on the tools, shouldn't I? Silly. Uh, you know, I'm going to go and just spend the five points on the tools and make myself one. So I'm getting nothing out of that. Hopefully I won't have to do too much metal harvesting anyway because we'll get someone to come and I love the idea with that supply chappy Joe Joey Biscuits or his name I can't remember his exact name later on I'll be like no I needed those five points Joey Fritz, thank you. Nice. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think it was Joey Fritz. It was nice getting to meet a couple of other characters as well. Can't wait to see what Purpley brings in. I bet it's gonna be one of the one of the cucumber cucumber patches. And one or both of us will be giggling when the names are said.
Oh, you're wait. Okay. Hello. Hello there, howdy. How are you doing today? Not too bad. I just finally found my 150 power. So I'm finally getting my, my babies going. Oh, wonderful. That's delightful. I'm very happy for you. Yes, I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting there with my, uh, my little boaty boat. I reckon only about another year or two and I'll have it done. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be that long. No, it's a little bit slow going with the old, uh, you know, come out here, chop a couple of trees, go back over there, build another two metres of the boat, come out here, chop some more, you know. It's just the way it is. But uh, luckily there's a supply guy moved in not far from here called uh, Joey Fritz or something like that, and hopefully I can set up a bit of a supply arrangement with him. Oh. Mm. Well, that's good. What, uh, what, what, what animal lines are you, uh, are you into, uh... I assume big kitty cats. Yeah, the cats definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can do any of them really. I mean, oh. I've 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 gotten let's say Mr. Cletus and Morella tops, and then I got us the thorny dragon. That was a really good one. And then um some wolves. I pretty much am good at anything, taming wise. And then Oof. breeding isn't too hard. You just tell me what you need, and I can put it together. Oh, I see. Are you are you um are you breeding or or uh, I'm I'm quite interested. I'm quite keen on uh on something to speed up my wood collection. Oh, the thorny dragon. Yeah, I can do that. Well, what would something like that set me back? Uh, the shipping company, shipping business hasn't been too uh, gracious to me. So what with the, the, all the water drying up and that? Hmm. Well, let's see. I'm doing the cats at 200. Um. How many, what kind of exotic trade might you be interested? What about if I had some really, really well-trained crew members? What would they fetch? In, well, in exchange, you know? Even as they, they, they already owe me stuff, so um, not much. <laughs> I'm, uh, why doesn't that surprise I, I me at them. all? Yeah. I, I, I told them if they could find me some honey and some sap, um, that's what I needed. Oh, so yeah. they've been, I think, looking, but I don't think they've found them yet. All right. Oh, well, they're very, very industrious, the, the two uh, grandkids I seem to have uh, uh, adopted somehow. So I'm sure if anybody can find it, they'll, those two will come back with sticky fingers. Oh, sure. Um, I do have Mr. Cripps, um, kitty cat, ready now, too. So whenever he gets up, uh, if he wants to come over and get it, uh, if I'm not awake, somebody else can get to him. All right. Okay, that sounds marvelous. I'll let them know when I um, they were they were beavering away all night, so uh, I think they've been sleeping that one off. But hopefully, I'm expecting them uh, inbound at some point. But it might still be another couple of hours or so. I'm not sure. You know that feeling. I'm working towards trying to get that dig on otter, but instead I got three oil rigs. So hopefully, I can get the otter then. Hmm. Well, at least you with with three oil rigs, at least you'll have the riches to afford the otter, no matter the the cost yeah but they're they're limited and there's only five left oh really oh, oh wow okay yeah goodness but I think me the oil pumps were limited too so i took the last three right i mean i did that for the town though well i'm sure so. yeah exactly mr west will be happy to hear that he likes uh he likes some well-oiled machinery yep that's what i figure but i told i said the only the only thing is is since i put in you know 450 and i needed 500 for an otter um my otter comes first and then whatever after oh yeah yeah yeah. well i'm sure we can come up with some deals that'll help you towards that goal i'd be delighted to uh, see you with the, the playing around with your otter out in the little oasis in front of the boat yeah that'd be nice it's got a nice little swimming hole 
Ah, wonderful. All right. Have you seen that layabout Willard anywhere? Uh, no, I haven't seen him for a while. Uh, I knew him. I, I had the measure of the man as soon as I met him, giving it all the big talk like he was in charge of the place. And he's not at all in charge of the place. Amazing. I don't even know who's in charge. Yeah. I mean, it was like Mr. Cletus was the nice uh, guy who was kind of in charge. And then and then it was like Mr. West. And Mr. West came in and he's got a big head. And he seems to be taking over. And so now I just I just work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. You know, keep 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 you keep keep your business running. First, you know, I think that's important. Yeah, no, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm doing my best to get the uh, the old uh, gambling and gin running boat up and running. So once once that's there, at least we'll be able to have a few parties, kick back, have a few drinks. No, oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, you might be able to. I don't know if you're any good at gambling, you might be able to win yourself some good coin there. The uh, the old poker tables. <laughs> My daddy did show me how to play poker. Well, there you go. Right. Well, I better get back to chopping up this wood. Uh, but I'll definitely keep that in mind. At the moment, I'm a little bit strapped for coin. But if we get an opportunity, I might come and uh, knock on your door about those uh, those dragons. All right. Singing's good. Wonderful. All right. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Uh, wait, we were full. Were we not? Yes, heavily laden. Mm, mm, mm. No T Rexes, no whammies. Yeah, that's true. I, I did have an Anki on this server a few days back but alas as with so many of my creatures it was eaten this this one this baby that i nabbed is the first one that's uh stood the test of like 24 hours with grumbles <laughs> so if i want to um if i want to drop from the dinosaurs can i can I drop from the dinosaur into the into the drop box? What did I just... I just got a whole load of wood. Okay, so it doesn't show... It doesn't show my animal. Okay. So I guess I just uh, grab a bunch of that. And just chuck that in there for a minute. Pretty awesome there. So the next priority was to build the bin. Which wasn't in there. So visual storage bin.
Oh, it needs to go on a on a foundation. Okay. So wait a minute. Uh, oh, okay. Then I'll put it here because then it's protected. Oh, that's a fiber. I didn't want a fiber bin. Settings. No. Pick up. Okay. Number nine. So, uh, metal, stone, thatch, wood bin. Okay. Okay. And then up here, I go... Uh, I go in here, I go distribution menu. I go wood, and I go, uh, where is it? Wood bin, 100% save. And then I press E on that, and not enough space. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I can craft from that bin. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. So now we need thatch and fiber bins. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Oh, wonderful. Okay, and does it work in like these tables as well, I wonder? Huh, that's funny. No. Ah, <laughs> that's, that's funny. Okay. Um, okay, so I want one for thatch. That's why they had those things at the other, at the other building. This definitely makes me want to uh, make the... Uh the sort of dry dock idea and have like the crane and the whatever Safe. Oh. What? confused I 
I didn't I don't think I set anything else up. No, oh, it's literally it shows you here with the symbol. So thatch 100% What do we go 50% save? Oh no, okay. 100%. Okay, I see. Would been full. Oh wait. Uh one minute. Oh it, no, I must have done it. Did it do it? I or maybe I had no thatch. Okay, so I gave that message because I had nothing in there. Okay. <laughs> Genius. Okay, so hang on. We can test this out. Grab this. So, deposit resources, distribute items. That was it. It's because there was nothing to distribute. There we go. Holy bonobos, gang. That's going to simplify the whole building quite a bit. So all we need to do is carry some fiber on us, but that's super light. Nice. And actually what we could do is build some pieces in here and just have... Uh, just have the hull be the storage for the ship for the ship so it has storage bins that you never need to ever go to all you ever need to go to is just the deposit bin and throw things where they need to be oh no you will need to because you can't i don't it didn't work for the smithy in that right yeah okay so you will need to get to the bins they can't be closed off because you'll need to grab resources from time to time to work in some of the other benches. Okay, that's a shame, but anyway. Cool. I still like that. I still prefer that, I think. Oh, hello there. Hello. This here is annoying me. <laughs> this What's... floorboard here. What, that is facing a different way or what? Yes. Oh yeah, well, there's a few more around the ship, but uh, I can change it if it's that bad. What is this one? Oh wait, that's the uh, that's the block that might mess things up. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't. Uh, I tell you what, I can strip the wood off. That's the best I can do. Uh, I'm. I've put in a new storage arrangement, or I'm part way through. Yeah. I'm using these deposit drop box things. And you can drop stuff on there and just throw things into various bins dotted around the place, which then allows you to access them uh, a little bit more easily. Uh, we've got one for wood and one for thatch so far. Uh, problem is we need some more metal to uh, get everything uh, made. And also we need well, a lovely... Uh, I need a crane to help me winch some of the there. ship equipment Thank to you higher for levels. The free long months well of oh. subscribing, But what I need is... Uh, for the crane, I need a hundred ingots. So, oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Let oh. me make a wagon and then I'll uh, get... <laughs> yeah, because we don't have an Enki, unfortunately. I was thinking of going over to the... Uh, the neighbors and seeing if we can borrow their Anki for a bit. Oh, would you mind doing me a small favor and just make me another uh, metal pickaxe? Uh, there should be enough bits and bobs. I keep uh, I keep giving mine away thinking I don't need it, but while we don't have an Anki, sometimes I do need it. Hey Kaden, thank you very, very much for the tier one and the three months of support. Yeah, Good it's all vibes. done in there for you. Uh, thank you very much, very much appreciated.
Right, let's see where I got to. How did your adventuring go, by the way? Oh, you said you came uh, back with that new... Yeah. Uh, hmm. Where did you go? Also managed uh, round the red obelisk, also found this. Oh, oh wow. I bet those are worth uh, a bit. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, um, I've got something to show you. Mm -hmm. This way. <laughs> this little thing. Oh my goodness! What on earth is that? Creature. You put all your creatures inside of it in the ball. Oh wow! Oh, that's clever. Hmm, like a safety deposit box for your animals. Yeah. I'm gonna just work on stuff and collect some metal and stuff. Oh, right. Okie dokie. These are triangles here, okay. I am well and truly side quested today. Oh, sugar. I needed to bring that up one, didn't I? Oh, sugar. Oh. I think. It depends if I want to leave a gap here or not. Ah, now I'm not sure. Oh no, it doesn't. No, it needs to go up. Anyway, being silly. Okay, so, uh, alright. Let's try out our new... Look at that, that's fantastic. Building in the pocket. Oh wow. Okay, what a what a difference maker that's going to be. Now, can I put a roof on top of that? I think not, right? No. Okay. should have come out to the edge I don't know no I'm gonna leave that open I like some bits of the ship have got to be open like that all right uh, V ceilings ceilings nothing more than ceilings <laughs> no fireball spells here 
No fireball spells here. There we go. And then this should uh, pretty much marry up with that. I could get very much used to this whole, uh, I could very much get used to this draw resources from anywhere, bin, bin stuff, that's wonderful. You bloody terror bird, I see you, go away, to terrorize me. I don't understand ceilings, says Reckless Rat, they go right over my head. Could be a pilot's area. We need some sort of door here to secure from the rip riff ref and put a sign on it that says crew only. What did I? I just literally burned through that 1269 wood already. Oh, it, <laughs> goodness. Sugar. Sugar. Well, anyway, I suppose it's now easier, easier than ever to burn through our resources. I gotta say that I am enjoying this uh, the skin for the wood here. It's really good. All right, definitely makes sense to build out of wood and not bloody uh, adobe, not wait on the adobe because that'd just be forever. But look at his uh, metal, his metal factory. Uh, that's cool metal processing trailer <laughs> all right off to get more wood it is You know what? I have that. That's better. All right, got a proper weapon now, so I can die with a little bit more dignity.
Mr. Lawless, um, you, mm -hmm. don't you have your fawny dragon? Uh, no, it uh, had a disagreement with an angry sloth. Oh, um, feel free to use mine for cutting down trees. It gives you more wood. Oh, okay. Oh, that's very generous. Thank you very much. Also, look at what I've made. Yes, I see this. A metal processing wagon. Lovely. So let's go and have a look then and see how much more wood we can get with that. Because that could save us a lot of time. What are you, I think you just throw these down, don't you? Boom. Okay. Uh. All right, let's see. Save me time uh, mounting, dismounting, and whatnot, right? Does it get? It probably gets a uh, bonus weight reduction as well, I would imagine. Marvelous. There you go. And we can fill up old baby Mollo. And then fill this one up again. save us a, a quite quite a lot of time as long as I don't get mugged by s something oh hello tail up oh, uh, uh, uh. go away kangaroo scared me you a bit closer oh yeah it's giving a 50% reduction I think 25 for a stack instead of 50 nice all right Rex. Get it. Get mob. I can't believe that guy's animal died. 
Where is Rex? Oh no! The new guys... Molly just died. Oh no, that's Thank sucks. you for the follow, EB3 for 93 to two. Oh my, have we not got our Rex anymore? Did our Rex die? Well, oh, that sucks. I'm always sad when somebody's offline and they lose bloody... Bloody pet. We need to... I need to... Maybe reprioritize and build us some more defenses. This is getting a bit silly. Uh... EB, thank you for the uh, follow. Welcome aboard. Oh my god. I know that's like a how would you know though kind of thing, but I feel like in character you would hear a terror bird attacking one of your animals like less than 100 meters away so that's why because i recognize Thank you for the 25 long months of subscribing living ginger blender <laughs> living, ginger, living ginger blender hey blender thank you for the tier one and the 25 months buddy thank you so much how are you doing blender welcome to the weekend <laughs> Thank you, bud. Yeah, I've just realized how hungry I am, though. I made a mis attack to Glera. I've not, not eaten much today. I sense more cheddar in my future. This really does make a massive difference. Huge. I wasn't sure at first, but it's a huge difference. Dream of future cheddar. Clever. I like this whole 
what Clicky wants to drop and then click it again to distribute. That's pretty clever. Oh, we like it. <laughs> Just inconvenient enough. Oh, didn't need to do that. Too cold up there for me to carry on working. Oh yeah. Unfortunately we had a terror bird sneak in over by the uh shipping office over there and nibble away at uh our newcomers uh Molly. So we're gonna have to uh I, I'm I'm I think I'm fed up now, I'm gonna have to build a perimeter. So these ugly um, spike walls or something. I think the entire town needs a perimeter. Yeah, I don't disagree. I was I was thinking of suggesting to Mr. West, that we put like a big, big old gate at one end and a big old mm. gate at the other and build some slowly work together to build a wall around the edge. Yeah. Do you ever think that there might be a Mrs. East for Mr. West? Could be. East, East meets yeah, West. Then, East yeah. meets West. And, uh, and then you got your, uh, then you got his father, Mr. North. And his mother misses South. I'm sorry, that's bad. Mm -hmm. Right. Anyway. Well, one thing's for sure, they never get lost when they go for a family walk. <laughs> well, no, they actually call out each other's name when they say, let's head north. Mm. All right, let's, let's double the wood. Fantastic. So how would that bloody thing have gotten up here? I wonder if it went across the boat. Oh, I'm starving. Foodie food. Some, uh, something a bit more substantial than that, clearly. Come on, ready, lad by fire. better to cook have that cooked meat anyway in there. Probably not. Okay. 
You know what? I'll have that. There we go. I'll have filled up for a while. Just got to remember. Remind me to check on the meat. <laughs> That's that forgotten. Out of sight, out of mind. That's that gone. I can't believe that bloody terror bird just, just up here. Willard! Willard! Where are you, man? Why is it so cold and, 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 and dark in here? Willard! Willard! PP. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, that's a nice house up there on that hill as well. Oh, there, the water tower. That's where the resource guy said he was. Oh, maybe we should have a run up there and see. Freezing cold. West fried chicken to go. Hello, Mr. West. I'd like some chicken. Fried and preferably to go. Wait, how big is this? A, a, is this a trailer drawn thing? Of that scale? Goodness me! Um, okay. Wow! The size of it. He fell off the wagon. That is one strong kitty cat. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> of course it's redonkulous. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's got to be redonkulous. I like it. I very much like it. I think I want to build something that comes down and make a bridge of the nose kind of thing. Maybe with some scaffolding framework. That could that could work. Holy What the deuce? Yeah, sorry. What's that? Oh no, you're right. I just I the, the the stars, I had something in my eyes. Oh what, the orange. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, that was um it was showing me how far the bins go. Oh. Oh, they're pretty handy. I need to save up. I need to get enough metal for the crane. Because then the crane can let you uh, unload the dinosaurs more efficiently. It has a hat. Oh, I couldn't really see because of the the night time. <laughs> have to have another look at it later. I'm sure we'll see him later. Fantastic. Right, let's go and get some more uh, some more wood. Oh, free trank arrow. Nice. the hell
that'll earn you. For now, it's just like strategically parking the animals around the base so that they can fend off whatever comes through from whatever angle. It's kind of hilarious. And that's a fast wolf. Freezing cold. I won't have it. I will have no word of that. Crikey, it looks pretty amazing, doesn't it, at a glance? I saw the trailer platform thing and I was like, that sounds interesting. I had no idea you could build like such a massive, <laughs> such a massive base on it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh no, Dub. Oh no, there's a pig. No, I don't want to fight Angry Bacon. Those are horrible. We'll leave that. We'll leave that well enough alone. Yeah, this this map genuinely is brutal. Like it is it is the most apt descriptor for this map. Like I I I had the same thing on Tuesday when I started because I didn't know about the the altitude and the heat and and that and it was just like i literally logged off a couple of times because i was just i can't i just wanted to build a little starter hut and get going and between that and death living at death valley i was like no this is this is not fun this, this is just not fun like there's survival and then there's just like no i might as well just You know, might as well just kick myself in machines. Just, just, it was just crazy talk. Definitely teaming up. De definitely, you got to team up on this one. And even then, you're gonna, you're still gonna get murderized. You died from the cold. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, the thing is I'm all geared I'm all geared up now for the for the heat, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think there is any easy. Certainly not near the green area where we are. So like where we are on the map. Here, there's an easy zone. This is supposed to be easy zone. This is the most horrendous. Yes, this is like starting in the middle of the swamp on day one on the island. It's just like, why would you do that to yourself? But it's like worse because you've got the weather conditions and the storms and everything. Hahaha. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, uh, where, where, so what I learned is, is I started up here somewhere and here was more survivable 
For sure. Like, temp don't don't go in that bit. That bit got lots of murder pigs and whatnot. But like, just here, there's a sweet spot where there's like raptors and stuff there. There's terror birds and pigs here. But every once in a while, they'll just come along there or they'll fall off the sides here. So like, it's. This is horrible. I'm told that down the south is a lot better, but I don't, I'm not convinced. <coughs> but the fact that they say it's an easy zone, admittedly surrounded by some more intermediate zones, it's not really an easy zone. I, I don't I I don't think the the easy zone that's listed up here i i don't think that should be listed like that it's misleading yeah i, I think there's no such thing as easy on scorched earth maybe that's the conclusion Easy on Genesis was the swamp. I remember one. What was the one where we were playing Hal, and we started off? Was that Genesis where we started on the swamp? Was Ge or was Genesis the one with the portals? Oh no, I think that might be the same thing. Where we played, I think it was on a dark side server. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that swamp and it was it was horrible. I don't like it. The only good thing that came out of that swamp was just meeting some lovely characters. And f so having some fun roleplay there. But that was also um uh curious men and their group. I can't remember the chap's name. Just my bad memory but but they're like you're talking about people that like know what the heck they're doing i wouldn't be able to survive something like that on my you know uh, it was uh, it was rough because the one was that was that no it was it was jungle where they had those big swamp those uh, spider thingies where you could jump around all over the place they were pretty cool actually Terrifying, but pretty cool. Let's, we, we could go up there and see. I'm a bit worried about what's going to be up here, though. I don't think we should side quest on a wood run. This is... No, this is a bad idea. Let's go on. Scaredy cat. <laughs> I can't believe how long it's taking me to build this blooming bolt. And it's not like we're doing that much role play. We're doing a little bit, but we're it's just taking this long <laughs> to get anything done. Are you good, Molly? Yeah, come on. I do like the atmospheric stuff, though. I gotta say, it's pretty solid. Come on. No, 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 no. Not interested. Get lost. No. Have it. Yeah. Yep. 
yeah they were definitely some good times i quite like that one with the idea of the portals and the the different biomes at first i was like it was very confusing but it actually turned out to be a real a ton of fun i thought okay careful we don't want to get into a fight with the big the horse because that's gonna ruin ruin the bolt oh my goodness yeah look at that storm beautiful I can't remember. I don't think I've done one, like a roleplay one on Ragnarok. I've definitely played some Ragnarok. I don't know if we did an RP with Ragnarok. Uh, Ragnarok's pretty solid, though. Just because it's kind of got a bit of everything. But Ragnarok is also massive. So... I think there's also the challenge of like meeting people to RP with. Yeah, I mean, it should be. You definitely have to have flyers, I would say, on on Ragnarok. Unless you want to go like a whole day traveling to get to someone. <laughs> But what I liked about Ragnarok as well is, generally speaking on Ragnarok, I found as somebody that, that is more inclined to like try and run away and survive than fight too many things, I felt like Ragnarok was, um, was quite good for that. There was quite a lot of wide open spaces where you could like, if you timed it right, you could get away from your pursuers and that. Like, not always. Still arc. And I quite like that you had the different, like, core biomes and the different areas. And the whole Wyvern Canyon thing was awesome. The Highlands was quite beautiful. Um, right. I don't know if I should put a should put a perimeter up. Yeah. You know what we can have is we could have the we could even use that scaffolding stuff for the bottom and just have it be like, yeah, I like this whole restoration or like building the the upper levels back and have the bottom be, uh, have the bottom be mostly, um, what do you call it? Stripped out or something or not. Yeah. And then go for the whole shipwreck approach. Hey, Dark Hand. Do you have the mod visual storage mods? Yes. I've just learned about it live today on the stream because um, uh, Fatello was kind enough to share their knowledge. Um, so you have this deposit box. So you make them in the smithy, in the visual uh, storage folder. And you have the deposit box uh, where you set up your distribution where you want things to go to. And you have these various bins and you make a bin for each of your like main, where you, the, especially the things you're going to have a high volume of. But I guess there's no reason not to do it for all of them if you have the materials. And there's also a crane that lets you deposit straight out of your, uh, your dinosaurs. To unload from your dinosaurs. So I want to get this, but it's 100 ingots. 
um and how it works is on the deposit box you press f to open that up you go to your distribution menu you pick your resources and you can search from them in here you pick your resources for example like wood and then you get a list of all of the possible or viable um uh, uh, destinations and you pick one like the wood bin and then you have to in this ratio you have to put whatever percentage you want but the total has to come to 100 so in this case i'm putting all the wood in there and then once you've got that set up so you just do that once then you come up here uh, and you press e to drop items into the box and then you press e again you see there it says distribute items and if it has enough uh space and whatnot and it knows where to put these things so none of these have moved because i don't have a destination for them yet as an example um and, and if you set that up then you just press e and it auto distributes to any of these and then the real beauty on top of that all is that each of these locations firstly look they fill up with logs and thatch when they've got stuff in them that's awesome um uh you can then craft anywhere within a pretty decent radius goes way beyond my ship maybe like to roughly where the wagon is i guess around that in a big in a big circle or a big uh uh semi uh what do you, what would you call that hemisphere no uh what's a half sphere anyway demi sphere i don't know um yeah so anyway big circular type thing uh you can pull the resources when you're crafting from your pocket sadly not from the smithy although there might be i'm not ruling out that there isn't a i don't know if some of the special things here can draw down from from the other places as well i'm not sure none of this stuff needs wood so i can't tell Oh. Um, but yeah, pretty, uh, pretty neat. So, I mean, you could just build these bins and then deposit stuff in there yourself manually. Um, but if you don't use the deposit box, you're, you're skipping half the trick. Heading out for a shopping run. Thank you, Bonte. Take care. You two have a wonderful shopping trip safe safe and sound in the weather and all that good vibes bonty thank you for being here with us <laughs> people being caught fast traveling with a bed to their oil pumps and emptying them into a box neighbor next to it. <laughs> uh. Fair play for you use, using the mechanics to your advantage. <laughs> Why are people so keen to hog the oil? I mean, maybe they're just playing the whole oil baron type thing cutthroat oil business around here I'll tell you there you go. but yeah pretty uh pretty cool one thing i wish we had though was um well we will get it I'm sure at some point but right, we need to get the uh what do you call it uh words man so hard for me today uh we need to get the uh, cooking facilities to make the dyes on mass and need to be able to make the spray painter now that we've got some crystal though we should be able to make the spray painter thinking about it is that in here Oh, polymer still. Still with the polymer. No, no idea on that. 
Who meta meta gaming? No way. <laughs> or power gaming. I really want to make this uh, this crane thing because I also love the aesthetic of this crane. Like we had a, um, our port there on Atlas because we built multiple cranes just for the aesthetic of it. All oh, it looked amazing. We need another 50 uh, thingy bobbies though. So I wonder if the crane ties into the deposit box and uses the same distribution network. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, I should put this back if I'm uh, done with that for the minute. I, I, what is wrong with this lip here? This, um, I can't leap that. Oh, is that the Rex there? Is that? Oh, Rex is in the, is in a box. Okay. Okay. I a little fence up now. So sadly, it seems that one of those desert bacons came and destroyed uh, Fatolo's out animals. That's a pity. Speaking of the Yankees, a while ago. Hello. 95, that's not bad. Hmm. Ninety-five versus twenty-one arrows, that might not be enough. Be worth building a little uh, trap for it, maybe, but it's not as fun. <laughs> okay. Really? Another s sandstorm? Blimey. Oh no. No stamina. Gosh darn it. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm still having a good laugh. I, it's much more immersive. Um, I finding than the previous arc experiences. Like the, the 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 cinematic elements are adding quite a lot to it for me. But we're actually gaining sand because of the sandstorm. That's cool. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, blood and rough out there. Uh, here, yeah, that's this. Yeah, I used to have some, but uh, hmm. I should have no headgear at all. But that uses those pearls. I don't want to kind of waste those. I wonder what the view is like from up on the ship. I'm protected here. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at it. We can uh, sit up here and watch the fuzzy storm. That's kind of cool, isn't it? A nice shot through the ship like that towards the town. That's kind of neat. There we are watching a western now. Yeah, Blend, I'm glad that I got through the whole update installation issues as well. Because that obviously set me back quite a lot, but probably saved me being eaten a whole bunch too. Hey minion, and there we go, eased off. Marvelous. There's a bloody scorpion in the middle of the. Uh... Thing down there. Oh, let's see. I, I want to do something different for a minute. We've done a lot of the same, same. Let's see if uh, we can find a color that will take to the, um, give us a sort of a white look. I'm wondering what these might give us, the blue and some white. Might as well just take a bunch of these. Baby blue. Moonstone. <clears throat> Overcast. Cornflower. Try this one and this one. Oops. You saw nothing. Um, 
Oh, I need to make another brush. I haven't looked at any artwork yet. It's another another thing we need to look at. So let's try this cornflower. You have tamed a Jaboa. What the? Not me. That's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. That could be that could break it up. Now oh, I like that 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 half line there. We can paint that up that color to break up the red and black so it's not a monotony. Oh, that's that's cool. I should have made a second brush so I don't waste the paint. So that it does tell you what color you've got on there as well. It's cool. Not a, I can't get anything that's going to whitewash the building by the looks of it. But uh, see. Let's look at what that one looks like. I actually wanted to see what it looks like on the Adobe as well. See if the Adobe takes the color better. Pity we can't get it to take white though. I wonder if there's any other color that could. Uh... Yeah, exactly. Uh, dyes. These are all going to get darker and darker, I guess. Uh, Grayscale. Slight wisp. Can we try wisp? Oh, I need narco berries for that. white and white was no good I'm wondering about silver we'll try silver wisp and silver and there's also buttermilk So we got wisp and then 
silver. See, you see what I mean? The whitewash stuff just doesn't work. It goes back to being wood. Like, you can see it's lightened up, but it's so negligible. And the silver color, same thing, right? such a pity because you get these other colors like that are so vibrant what a pity you just can't like a whitewash feels like it would be such a a nice standout color in here I mean, this, you know, most of the colors work. It's just those, these, these gray scales don't really, uh, they don't cut it. I can't remember steel. We try steel. I'm sure steel worked on something. But yeah, it's, um, I try crystal. I've never tried that before. Damn it, Ark. It does, but I need the industrial cooker to really enjoy it because it's such a pain uh, making all of these manually like this right now. Mainly because you can't, you've got only two options. You've got the cooking pot and you can't irrigate the cooking pot. Plus it doesn't have that many slots. So that's steel. Doesn't really do it for me. It does give a nice, like a wood varnish kind of look though. I think that's what we used that for. Oh, game's locked up. I think that's what we used that for on the other, on the wood on the ship or whatnot to make it look, uh, give it that kind of a hue. And my game's completely frozen. Hello? Arky Ark? Is everything else okay? So? I don't know if it's a... Just my client or a server restart. Nothing about server. Meh. Ark. Guess I gotta kill it. One moment, please, caller. We're nearly at food break anyway, so that's good. We need some grub. Had to end task it, it just stopped working. Would never happen, right? Right. The worst thing is that when you have to end task or something, I'm thinking, is there an update on Steam? <laughs> dub reasonable approach three days of verifying files too soon no too soon
Oh. Hmm. I mean, that would break things up as well. So that's crystal, yeah. So you can see the blue hue coming through. But definitely nothing that's like a whitewash. Never mind, eh? Never mind. Now, which one was it I liked? Uh, overcast, I think. Oh, hello. Yeah, I had to take a uh, little uh, nappy nap there. Surprise nap, best nap. Nice, Dub. You got this. So I think it was this one we ended up going with. Patience of a bloody saint to go along there. with an idea so insane that it is uh it's bordering on the uh edge of a bad idea would you do it i mean i would certainly listen to it i would entertain the idea but i can't commit until yeah. i know what it is for all i know you could say feed yourself to a to a t-rex no we're we're i'm talking about blowing up a rock golem i mean that sounds like a lot of fun yeah, I mean, I've, I mean, I've got a can I can build a cannon to do it if you want on the back of my wagon, and we just start shooting it. I mean, that sounds hilarious. I think I think we should do that. That sounds like good good fun. I reckon I reckon the grandchildren would want to see that too. That sounds amazing fun. I would go so far as to say what could possibly go wrong. Think it'll end badly? No, Dub. It'll be as smooth as your start on Scorched Earth. Oh wait. <laughs> it'll be fine. just made another chair by accident as you do your attention please advertisements are now running to support good causes thank you please I've got coffee. 
Everything else can Alrighty. Wait. Break time. Thank you, because I was getting into side quest mode there. I'll be right back with you folks. I'm going to make some food, so uh, give me a moment. I'll leave you with some, some quality some quality music. And another lovely view of our, of our little town here. Maybe I can blot out that green there. It looks a bit nicer. All right. Be right back with you, folks.
I just got back and realized <clears throat> I should have built that Jaboa jail at the back of the boat. <laughs> hey, Sturgy. Good vibes. Uh-oh. There's a murder kitty down there. Somewhere. <laughs> oh, there we go. The, the obligatory crotch shot. Sorry. F13. Ah, you're a rookie. I'm on like 21, 22. I don't know, maybe more. That's not good. <laughs> we should try and recruit it. Can you have a penguin? Uh, uh. Okay. one of these so I can see what it looks like. Oh, rope beds. Neat. Oh, that's more metal though. Oh, fiber. Oh, neat. <clears throat> Wait, this actually goes on the outer edge as well? Oh, I think they changed that in the base game anyway, didn't they? Yeah, 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 they did. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty neat, though. With the bits of rope. Oh, I like that. So we can actually have, like, a proper guest gang gangplank with... Uh, with these. Oh, that's neat. All right. Oh, sugar. I need, uh, I need another one of those. What?
Oh yeah, that's why I made the other tool. <laughs> that's why I made the other tool. I'm so glad they added this tool in. It's so obvious, but you need so much fiber, especially early doors. And oh my god, nightmare to gather all the heart, all of that by hand. Typically, depending what rates the servers are running, or the server you're on. I like that they changed the clipping as well. It's not in a good spot though. the heck? Silly thing. Oh really? I can't have it there? I should have put the deposit box further back. Maybe I can move it. I got side quested away from lighting.
Hey, Evely. How are you? How are you? Wait, well this, it says it, what? It's only sitting on the floor. Does it not go, does it not go on a wall or a, oh, I want my money back. I want my money back. What the, I want my money back. Terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's these wood pieces, for example. I've obviously painted it as well. I haven't got all the bits and bobs yet, but I'm working on it. So. If I put that there, I want to know because it, does it have to be oil? It said it works on a generator as well. Maybe I should put up one of those windmills nearby. The um, the wood thing is really cool. So it does, um, wait, was this the glass thing? <gasps> was this the thing I hadn't, what? What? Oh my goodness. I had that all along chat. We had that glass all along. That's cool. I mean, you still have the dodgy UE5 or ARC implementation of the glass. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I like it. So we can have it here at the front of the boat, for example. Oh, look how it picks up the colors with the red and black. So some of the things I've got here are mods and some of them are the, the DLC thingy with the story stuff. Look at the way it picks up the colors. That's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. So you know where that could be? This this could be up there for the, uh, the pilot's area. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really like the glass down there, but I suppose if you're coming into the ship, it's, it's, it's an interesting look. I think I'm going to have to, the, the pirate's area, I'm going to have to think about where I want to use that. But that's, I didn't realize I had that all along. Or, or like, I didn't know it worked just on a standard wall. That's what uh, Josh was trying to tell me. We've also got these uh, prison... Jailhouse doors and windows. Oh, I need to have an actual window fitted to see that, I guess. Wait a minute. Okay, hang on. Doors. 
wooden doors and windows, lice. Okay. Uh, number six. What? Look at. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Look at that, Gag. That's pretty cool. I don't know if we want our pleasure casino gin runner to have sort of a prison ship look to it, though, but that's pretty cool. It still opens as well. Oh, that's neat. That's pretty neat. Uh, I've been using the Doed. I don't know about the Anki and Sand. I've not seen. But the Doed does load, so I suspect it's the Doed. Because you get it from stones. So I'm like 99% sure it's the Doddy. That's cool. Oh, that's how you do the saloon doors. Oh my, I'm so stupid sometimes. I don't even see the, can't see the wood for my own face. Okay. 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 So that can go and then we want, wait, is there a door frame here? No. So we want door, wood, and then oh, uh, bleh, one of those. So I want one of those. And then I want this one. And then I want number six on that so that the wood looks good. And then I want to put that down. And then number six. And we're gonna go with saloon doors. Oh, neat. Look at that. So now we come onto the boat and it's the saloon doors a go-go. Hey, what do you call? What do you call? What do you call a Canadian singer who works at a bar in the Wild West? What do you call a Canadian singer who works at a bar in the Wild West? Hey? Saloon Dion. <laughs> Saloon Dion. <sighs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. Hey, uh, George. Oh, yeah. Do I got one for you. Oh. Yeah, what do you call a Canadian singer who works at a Western bar? Uh, eh? No, Saloon Dion! <laughs> Saloon Dion! I get it. I'm gonna go to town see if I can tell that to anyone else. Yeah, if there's anyone else awake, that is. Yeah, I don't know why what, what, the town's so quiet today. Saloon Dion! Oh my god, chat, that's so good. It's so good. I think you I think you'll agree with me. It's so good. Right, we got let's quickly nip over the town so there's one there. Willard! West fried chicken. It's 
the worst it's not west it's worse because there isn't anybody here serving the chicken the westerant oh my god nothing nothing as you as you'd expect hello hello anybody anybody around I see anyone I just tumbleweeds here tumbleweeds hello mr. Cletus You know, this, this town was once human. You don't know what happened to the population of this town. It was once human. Are they playing that bloody game again? Is that what's going on here? Come to Ark, they said. It'll be grand, they said. We're building a Wild West town, they said. No sign of them. I bet you, I bet you. Is that what they did? Did they play that again earlier? I mean, it is a, a beater, so... No, I know we we spoke with Fist yesterday evening. I'm only teasing. You got to go where where your heart takes you, where your passion takes you. But yeah, relatively quiet day. Well. That joke will just have to wait. Let me, uh, let me just make sure I've got that written down in my, uh, let me make sure I've got that joke stored up in my little jokes archive. What do you call a Canadian working as a bartender in the Wild West? Saloon Dion. <laughs> there you go. I workshopped it. You're giving up for the day after death 69? I hear you, buddy. I hear you, man. All right. Are you going to be around tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow I've got a uh, return to Moria. Although, it is, it is, it is a little bit in doubt. So... I will either have returned to Moria tomorrow or we'll have more of this here. So it's either Moria or more of this here. I should finish my snack. Is it a dad joke book? No, I, I had to stop telling my dad jokes. He didn't like them anymore. I don't think I like this um, 
this glass down here but I do I quite like it up above and it could be quite good for the um, it could be quite good for the sides here can I oh we can even turn the scaffolding pieces into the into the windows oh my lord wow that's that's pretty cool isn't it That's that's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty neat. Shame there isn't a uh, glass ceiling. It'd be pretty cool as well if you had the the big uh, the big old wooden doors. If the big old wooden doors could be uh, what do you call it as well? Uh, uh, metal bars. Yeah, I wish you luck, purply. <laughs> It could be, it is alleged that there is a train station, it might be up there, or it might be that thing up there. Um, at the green obelisk now, but to be honest, if you spawn in the wilderness, it's, you know, we're right on the green obelisk, so it's not really helping you that much, I suppose. I feel so far behind with my building, but we've been kind of working our way through it and trying to work out how we're going to set it up. So that's we need some structural support here. A boop. I wonder if that's counting as giving support there. Guess that could be a pillar thing. Um, the server is uh, still open. There's a, there's an application process, uh, and then a sort of self whitelisting once your application has been approved. Uh, actually, we don't. Do we? What, I don't think we have a digital nomads info, do we? Viper, if I send you the um, we could do an exclamation mark DM or something.
I don't think they have it on their website. Do they have it on the... Because it's not connected directly to Nordheim. Let me check. I don't think they have that, no. Honestly, Dub, I, I feel your pain. Like, no, no, all jokes aside, totally feel your pain because totally been there. Okay, let me send, um, the ROM always gone. What the? Tumbleweed? Gotta get some cloud. No, I think there was something on Nordheim, but it was like a, we're going to be doing this elsewhere. I'm not sure if they put a, a referral link, if that was all set up at the time. But it was a little bit, I think it was one of the announcements. But there's been more announcements lately because Conan's starting up as well, right? What the? Okay, that was spooky. Interesting though that it kept the paint even when I changed the uh, the thing, and also the fact that these are Adobe walls and you can make them look like the wood, I find quite a cool thing. Um, okay, so I was going to make more adobe foundations. There was no... Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Gotcha. Okay, we'll do that. Maybe that's enough support for both sides. We'll see. So now we can support out here. Great. Kind of cool. Blimey, startled me. 
and with the snapper dinosaur. <clears throat> you startled me. I do like working with these scaffolding pieces. It looks really neat. It looks it's simple, it's not an extra piece. I like that. I think that's kind of cool. Deg Nebit. Gonna need another bonobo over here. <clears throat> but I. Oh! It will go there! Holy cow! We can have it there. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, that's. that's. that's somewhat convenient. out the other side I could probably put a dinosaur move another dinosaur gate over there is that no that's that okay Thank you, Viper. Perfect. There you go. Anybody looking for digital nomads? It's there. It's a very goodly RP community. Uh, and uh, with a great admin and support team. And an opportunity for some really fun, immersive roleplay. I'm guessing they're going to use the digital nomad for all ARC stuff going forward. So... So I would expect multiple uh, seasons and shenanigans uh, and, and the like. Maybe we can use this space to keep our dinosaurs safe for now, you know? Even while I haven't finished building out the... Uh... Now, I am informed... I do know that these things are very... Oh no, 10,000. I thought these were low health. Or is that low health? Hmm. Maybe that is low health. Oh, okay, 10, th okay, maybe that is low health then. No, adobe wall 6,000. What? How has a wood wall got more health than an adobe wall? That's mean. Well, then again, I suppose just playing. I don't know. I suppose that kind of makes sense in my mind's eye. It does, however, mean that we can use a bunch of these, which are cheap as chips, to uh, try and secure up our dinosaurs if we wanted to. Give us sort of a barn without without having to do too much crazy work. Is what I'm thinking here. Oh, 
Voilà. Of course, it's a pain with this slope on the terrain. <clears throat> Not having a, a dino uh, gate. But we, we just, we have the crystal now. We just need to make more of those crystal balls, I guess. I could put some spiked walls around there instead. I'm liking that we've got more scale now though. I'm glad I've done that bit to build it a bit further out so you can see the work in progress. Now that there's some some more length to it, it's going to start looking more bolt-like. I'm going to come out here and then I'm going to bring the, the butt in a little bit with a couple of triangle, with some triangle foundations. Just a shame the terrain doesn't <clears throat> level off a bit sooner than... Uh, it'd be quite funny if it goes all the way back here. What a monster build that would be, but it could also contain... I didn't think about it before. Well, I, I did a little bit, but it could contain all of our animals. I wonder how far I'd have to go back before I could get that um, to be level. Oh, there you go. There's a there's a point. I don't think it'll go there though. I, mean, I suppose I just need to build down from there. <clears throat> just I know what I'll do I know what I'll do uh oh oh no we've gone through all the wood <laughs> Again, take Nabbit. I think I'm going to end up building a a bit of a dry dock after all. After all, I might do cheeky little. Where's the ground? Ground kind of evenish. Put a um, put a dino gate here at the rear end of the ship, and then we'll just go a little bit wider, and then back around here, 
and it will look like a uh, a sort of a defensive skirting around the back <clears throat> kind of like that idea oh wait i've got uh no i put the phony dragon away Need to go and get the thorny dragon out again. So many materials needed, man. I I do enjoy this scaffolding look, though. They've done a nice job with that piece. Nice. And then we can yeah turn all this down here into like storage bins and stuff. Have a deposit box near the front door and the side door. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll be pretty cool. I think that'll be pretty cool. when people need to uh, hide from the heat. Well, you know what we do? First thing we do, chat, is we move the Jaboas to the Jaboa cage at the back. Oh my goodness. If we were allowed a moth, I could fly over the town and do the whole aerial flyby thing. That would look gl glorious. We will eventually I get them, I guess. Oh, no! That's not here though, is it? Oh no, he's lost the horse with the cart. I think... Oh no. Those high level saber tooths, man. She passed away, is she? So lean down. Oh. I 
That's what I took from your chat post. It does a great job cutting the tree. I like it. I didn't, uh... I don't know how good. I've never had one of these before, so very, very, uh... I mean, like, before this, playing on this server. Sadly, we've had... Uh... Two of them. <laughs> and they've not made it. Oh, that's horrible. i would never heard of that. Alright, we're exhausted and carrying about as much wood as we can here. And if that isn't a that's what she said joke, I don't know what is. Let's see my idea here is that we're going to uh oh we need to build them in here so let's see adobe oh we ran out of clay as well okay never mind then well wood Oh, out of fiber. Damn, damn it. Oh, that's a tree. I don't like that the kangaroos sometimes, to me, sound like the terror birds <laughs> when they make that oh it just did
No, Josh, not like this. Not like this. Do it this way then. Just for now, I feel like we need more security. some adjustments later on well at least we need some well either that or we need the crystal ball things that should really be the solution I have a do I have a dody why why I have a dolly <laughs> why am I doing that Come on, Dotty, you're up. In fact, belay that order. Hello, Edge Crusher. Welcome in. Oh, I can't see that. Are you kidding me, game? One, two, a three, a four. I can't. Oh, blah, 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 blah. What the? What the? <laughs> I think that's it. That looked like it. Okay, I think let's put us kind of kind of in the right direction. Oh, Just about goodness. maybe. Do I need one more there? Can't I? Can't. Nope. No. Oh, no. I can't tell. Okay, that one needs someone to line up with. 
bloody sandstorm. <laughs> Thank you for the cookies, Val. Got you arrives and says, what do you call a beehive with no exit? Unbelievable. It's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. You should be very proud of yourself. I bet you are. I knew it. I knew one of them had bloody gone down wrong. Bonobos. So there's one here somewhere. Is that it? There, got it. You little bonobo, you. Nice try. Can I not fit a thing off that? No. I can't connect to that there. Is it that they're not? Is there not one under there? Oh, there's not one under there. That's why. Okay. Now we got it. So I think we come up here a bit. Yeah, okay. Let's make some more of those. Where's Dotty? Dotty!
Need those stones, Donny. Uh. See, I can't see ship. Okay. So many snap points, except for the one I want. Oh, here we go. And, uh, how? That, 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 something's gone wrong there. Something, something's gone wrong there. Well, you know what? I don't, I don't really care. We'll just do that. Oh, I see. I think I see what's gone wrong there. <laughs> Fudge the goals. How did that happen? How did that happen on my watch? We'll just do that. Alright, there we go. Dry dock animal pen thing. Kind of, sort of. Try and make it look a little bit less ugly. Tiny, just a tiny bit less ugly. Like so. It's kind of cool, isn't it? And then we need uh, some rampy ramps. Hey, Blazing Polari, how you doing? 
mostly lurking uh, due to positive busy IRL cheers blazing Polari it's been good fun uh, Ark the game has annoyed me this week with the updates on Steam uh, might have just been a tech issue on my end um, but Steam at the very least not really giving me any clues or anything to work with uh, was annoying uh, but in between many 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 deaths and struggles I've been having some fun yeah well, not arc the roleplay uh, the roleplay has been a little sparse but that that's been also due to my limited playtime uh, to an extent as well but we have had some we're I'm, I'm we're having some fun with the crew getting the crew together and we've got some more to come in and join us soon TM once they stop messing around in Death Valley dying all the time hashtag I know the feeling but yeah they haven't found you've been spared those issues nice <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this wood frame anymore. It's it, it looks it's kind of cool, but also kind of confusing when you look when you just glance at it. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff going on here now, but that's just what we need to do to get the job done. Right. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. I don't know how well it'll work with this wooden scaffolding but it'll be one of two things the next time I wake up everyone will be like oh it's amazing thank you for putting up the cage to protect all of our beautiful animals or it'll be like why did you why the hell did you build that out of wood <laughs> so we'll see What are you are you kidding me? Fiber? What? How can I be out of fiber again? Oh my god. Uh, but I, I hope it'll just work for the gang that they don't have to worry and look after the animals every five minutes. I, I know we're gonna get the uh, the survival ball things as the solution, but it's always nice to have a couple of dinos out as well, you know? Your favourite pet or whatever. Most of them can probably defend themselves by now. But as we saw already, we lost we lost one of our crew while they're asleep. Brand new joiner earlier today. Goes to sleep and midway through the day, in spite of all the security available, as it in terms of other dinosaurs that are quite a powerful group. Uh, the, the terror bird sneaks in and still murders one of them. So I feel, I feel a little aggrieved on that person's behalf. I mean, it's just pixels, but even so, it's frustrating. lost on my watch what you don't fit through that door oh you do fit don't yeah do you or don't you make your mind up i i fit through i don't fit through 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 i fit up i give up oh my god Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm trying to get now. Surprise attack. I fit, I fit through. I fit, I fit through. I don't, I fit through. I fit, I, I don't, I do fit, I don't. I do, I do, I, I don't, I, I. What the f Is it being attacked? Ridiculous. Bloody, bloody thieving rat thing. It's ironic if I put this in the caves, this is our most powerful like creature that's the most violent, able to protect itself. <laughs> put that one inside. So are you not on um what's your health like now? You're at half health. Holy cow. Okay, you need to be on neutral. How did that get on passive? What about you? You're on passive. You should be on neutral too. The micro raptor. You're the most dangerous animal out here, probably. Hard the bloody small hitbox. Cheat. Yeah, no, I didn't think it was going to work. So what we could do is, uh, I don't know. It just won't go through the frame, right? So even if I take the doors off, it's not going to work. So what I could do instead is I could put some spikes down around here. And just make it a, a an open thing or something. I'll just have to build a behemoth gate. But behemoth gate is so big. So this can protect Doddy and this one was going to go back in its ball anyway. Crazy. All right, let's put this one back in its ball. Put the ball back where the ball belongs. Really, really incredible bulk. Get out of here. Oh, oh my goodness. How long ago was it that I was looking for uh, to see if the spark powder worked with that lantern? That was like hours and hours ago. Maybe we might have done earlier. Possible. That's the last thing I want to do is go to sleep and have all the others uh, wake up to their dead dinos. Right, let's see if this uh, works. I don't think it will. I think his cowboy said it was just oil. Nope, I can run it on spark powder too. Okay. Doesn't look like it gives off a lot of light though. 
Wait, that fuel only lasts 35 minutes? What? What? Oh, I think he said when you run out on oil, it, it, it lasts ages. like with that beam of light and then the storm kicking in and the lightning it looked like the pig just was like you know the summoned pig of the armageddon no that says seven minutes as well i thought he said a few pieces of oil and it lasts for like days is that maybe the wrong one Because that's a complete waste of... That's a complete waste of fuel. Oh, we just need to get a generator then. Okay, I'll have to build one of those uh, generators and put it near the ship. I like that this counts as indoors in shelter. Yeah, there I was having to wait out the storm with nothing but this uh, wooden throne to sit on, huh? Terrible, terrible. Wait a minute. Why is there battle music playing? What's happening now? move holy cow what is going on Ooh, this is a wild one. Oh well, uh, you're going down. Goodbye. Jeez, Louise. It was a terror bird followed by a, a raptor followed by an angry mololol that was caught in the in, in the middle. Oh my goodness, what a mess! What a mess. Holy cow. Maybe I should leave the wolf outside. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Right. You lot behave out there. What a nightmare. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to leave them together at least in a pack. It's even got its own theme tune, this one.
Okay. Right. Last thing today. Let's do uh, a wee bit of painting with paint face. I think this tier was the yes. Okay. <clears throat> so we were painting with overcast color seven and uh yeah i'm definitely gonna need one of those uh thingamabobs Spray guns. Proper dust up. <clears throat> do -do 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 Myself an earworm now with that. Do -do 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 do 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 I have literally trolled myself. Super heat. <clears throat> oh, this works. That's good. That's a good sign. And that's maybe going to work for guests as well. Do, do, do. 
Hmm. I'm going to start storing away all the animals into the box. Oh, okay. Yeah, marvelous. I'll put a sign up saying that that's where they are. Right. The uh, the ones smaller than the molops can come into this cage now. I've built a cage at the rear that should be secure. Mm -hmm. But like, the thing is, is, they still need to eat food in the in the box. They don't need to eat. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, go right ahead then. Yeah, marvelous. But yeah, I'll I'll do what I can see. It's a good point. I didn't think about the food. Bloody hell. <clears throat> Four is the maximum it can take. Oh, and it's full of berries as well. It's very frustrating. I know I used that joke already once, but... Sue me. <laughs> Ran out of... Uh, thingy ball. Fudge. Slowly becoming unbearable. Nice. They're all moved, so now it should be a lot better. So annoying that you can't speak when you're in these things. Marvellous, thank you.
need it. <laughs> I love it. Little slap of paint and it starts popping. Just the tiniest dab of paint. And we start getting there. Goodness. Hope there's nothing out here to fight it with anymore. is this place i hate it i think it's just instant death whenever we look that's why there's so many spikes. i'm gonna have to resort to the spikes we're gonna have to put the spikes up around the place what about this uh, plant turrets i've seen people use them that yeah i've got i've got the y ones i don't have the x ones i don't know if the y's are any the good. x ones are only on the island Ah, okay. Well, we have got some wild ones in the fridge. We just have to be careful that they're only going to go after the wild nasters. But I do want to do some planting anyway. I uh, mm. add a bit of colour around the place. How am I overheating in... 30 degrees Celsius and I'm overheating. Oh, for God's sake. This desert, I tell you. Hmm. Yep, so this one patience, that's for sure. So I'm gonna, oh, how do I get up there? Oh, okay. I'm gonna take a nap. Probably see you tomorrow. Alrighty. Rest well. Oh, chap. Uh, the heat, uh, the, the place gets to you after a little while, that's for sure. I can only empathize. I love that, the blackjack theme. That's really coming along nicely. It's actually really fun for me that it's taking even I uh, might belly ache a bit about oh, I gotta go get more wood and all that but it's kind of it's still fun that I'm not able to just insta build it oh my goodness iguanodon we don't see what a view It wasn't just for the murder death all the time. <laughs> Probably wouldn't. Wouldn't feel so. Uh... But yeah, welcome to Ark, right?
Definitely scorched earth pushes people's buttons. Mine included. Mine included. Alright, well we can build into that space then. But at least when people have got their animals out and they're just running back and forth or they stop to roleplay, they can put their... or we can have visitors coming here. They can park their animals in, in the sanctuary there, I guess. Lovely, love those popping colours there. Yeah, same for me, Everly. Same for me. Through my experiences this week, I'm kind of seeing why I didn't play on it that much. <laughs> but uh, it is at least fresh new, new stuff. Even if it ends up feeling like a kick in the unmentionables all the time. And it surely does. I wonder... I mean, there is the desert area as well of uh, Ragnarok. I wonder... <laughs> Uh, it's kind of like to go with the theme it makes sense it's just it just feels so harsh <laughs> i feel sad for people when it's just kicking a kicking our asses the whole time Put some color, make it look like we're open for business, even though we're far from it. To get people excited for it, thinking that something uh, groovy is coming along, regardless of the truth. Yeah, I have to. Well, I have to keep stopping myself from. Uh, obviously, I haven't finished the rear of it at all yet. I just made this temporary pen but I gotta stop myself from making uh, making a modern ship I guess it's all that warships subliminally rubbing off on me I just see them all the time but you know what a little 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 bit of little dash of color here and there it's starting to uh starting to come together i got i still we haven't i thought today i would start work on the smokestacks but i haven't got anywhere near that yet so i need to go up on the top level there and make some smokestacks actually i could try before i run out of time today let's have five minutes i'll see if my smokestack idea is going to work at all because i'm not sure it will Oh, heck, I need more of those. I do need some of those, though. At least it's not Battleship Grey. See if this idea will fly at all. Um, you no, know we might just take a ladder up.
Union Jack camo, nice. <laughs> get these midway through Ooh, okay okay so we just do this as a quick little test I'm gonna see so I can go there and there that's what I would have expected okay and then what if we put one of those on there and then underneath that we try and sneak oh it does work so i can make a little i can make a little stack like that there you go ah what the god i got lagged off the what the hello there you go. i ran out of wood again damn it so this is my uh it's my smokestack idea I have one there and one here and then we'll have to see if we can incorporate maybe i build a bigger one we'll have to see if we can incorporate um I think I need two and three here, yeah. Probably need to do all the surfaces, to be honest. So see, imagine that, but taller. And maybe down the bottom, I can make a larger thing. And then I'm going to put... Where are they? Uh, there's these big fireplace things, right? And they've got a big chimney on them. So we, we could put a fireplace under in either in both of them and they'll just like two big old smokestacks or maybe even i don't know where we can put it actually it needs to be somewhere where the guests aren't going to go obviously or we could just like go steamship style and have one here and one further down the back there I'll have to see how big the fireplaces are and what we can wrap around them. I think that'll be pretty fun. And hopefully it'll look somewhere in the ballpark of, uh, of some actual smokestacks. I don't know if that actually helps. I think it's this bit. Yeah, to get the end pieces. Okay. I think that's, that's kind of cool though, isn't it? There's a smokestack. these these uh river bolts they had these typically these two big smokestacks like there's obviously different configurations but something along those lines uh and they might and they probably had ones for letting off steam and ones for the as exhaust fume so i would probably get some smaller ones further down the back 
So maybe I'll make these one. I, these are going to be taller ones for sure. No, did I just run out of all the black paint already? Dang, have it. I'm going to get this done. And then we're going to call it. We're going to go on, uh, go on a little raidy raid and try and put some smiles somewhere. Of course, I put the, all the stuff away, didn't I? All right. Well, we're only making black, so that's easy. I think I need a stack of white to go with that. Yeah, if I wasn't out of uh, if I wasn't out of wood again, I would uh, I could try and make the other stack as well. But I um, I definitely feel a bit of rest and and dinner coming. Oh, I'm it's actually fiber. What? Oh, my bad. Okay, we'll do a little bit then. <laughs> Just one more turn. Just one more turn. Okay. One more turn. But man. Okay. Right. First up. I skipped that other bit because all the pieces just basically take up a block of a blob of paint so just saving since it's such a uh, belly ache to make the paints no go go why don't you why won't you go there you go silly okay and then we replicate what we did there with i think there and there yeah and then we trick it with the ceiling and we do one of these like that and we're good to go nice all right one two I might end up moving the position of these. I'm just uh, winging it and we'll see what we get. As I said, when, when I uh, have time, I'll try and build the fireplace and we'll see what that looks like. I'm glad this works though. I wasn't sure if it was going to let me do the sort of ceiling and then place the walls underneath it. But it did. Wait, what? What? I'm out of the black paint already? <laughs> what? That escalated quickly. Dang it. I got I gotta cover it up. I can't I can't give away my I can't give away my tricks. Wow, 
I went through four blocks of paint really quickly. Disappointing. on the industrial cooker. Thank you, Viper, for that command. Yeah, I, I, I made a typo. <laughs> I made a typo in my request. It's kind of funny. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So one, two, three, six. One, two, three, six. Let's go. Yeah, there's definitely other parts of the ship where this is going to make more sense have these stacks but again when you're sort of winging it with the build it's <laughs> what I could do is kind of run them as if they're piping through somewhere else in the ship we could we could run these these black uh, lines along like an extended uh, exhaust or something but We'll see. Uh, no, the problem with the spray gun is we need polymer. And I don't know how we get polymer uh, on this thing yet. one I'll have to paint the inside otherwise they'll see my trick <laughs> so what we could do is that and then we could do like the the tips could be red for example oh to keep it with the black and red theme the tips of the chimney stacks could be uh they could we could do that in red i think that'll look pretty cool i wonder what that looks like from oh i'm hungry hang on let's go and have a quick look from the town at our dastardly handiwork our not so handiwork Feels like it's slowly turning into something. Killing mantis in the de desert gives organic polymer. Okay. Thank you, Dodo Cooker. I don't know if I've ever seen... No, I must have seen the mantis, yeah, on Ragnarok somewhere. Look, it, it, look at it. From, from if you're far enough away, it's the old 
classic but if you're far enough away if you if you will it into your mind it starts to look a little bit like a steamer coming down the river wouldn't you say kind of maybe sort of just a little if we're being kind and generous hey keep how you doing Yeah, look, we're, we we got we got the the makings. Paste in an obsidian. Yeah, we're not allowed to use the fabricators. There is this other fabricator, but it doesn't have polymer in it. Because we're supposed to be staying on theme. But yeah, if we if we can get. Oh, I'm going to mess with that kitty. Yeah. I love these signs. The Western skin for the signs is fantastic. Coming soon, TM. The Camel Clutch Casino and Gin Runner. Lovely. Wouldn't you say? You can so see that now what I've done. Oh, it's uh, it sucks. I really wanna, I really wanna uh, fix that, but I'm I'm tired. I gotta I gotta go and get some rest. I really wanna fix those chimney stacks. Ah, oh, something for tomorrow. I think even one more bit of height on them would make them look neater. Ah. Oh. I, I I have got the I've got the I've got the wood. Have I got the paint? I haven't really got the paint. <laughs> have I got the patience? Oh fudge! It's even a better looking Western ladder. Just, just one more tear. One more tear. One, just one more tear. Okay. I promise. One more tear. If we run out of, if we run out of paint, we run out of paint. Well, we know we're gonna run out of paint. Look at that. Look at that. It's, not, it's there, there, almost. Looking better. I could, I could have done them. I could have done them in red. That could have been cool. I can't help myself. I'm excited about this uh, smokestack idea. When we run out of paint, we're done. Okay, I promise. I've painted the wrong thing and wasted paint. No, not like these. I wasted some of my paints like a true buffoon. Okay, there we go. We're out of we're out of black paint. That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're making a yeah one of those old riverboat steamer oh, i say old i think they still operate modern ones today uh possibly even some old museum ones i don't know all right
Right, we're done. Boom. Lovely. Lovely. Get in there. Get in there. Starting to look like something bolt esque. Ah, lovely. The railing does make a diff. I knew the railing would make a difference. What the? Okay. Yes. Yes, the extra stacks. The extra, uh, you know what? We move them back one line to where that first red and black room is on the top level, and we box that off, and we make that we make that the, an engine room, and then we can put the fireplaces in there or something maybe. Yeah, I, I like that. That's cool. I think that's fun. All right. All right, gang. That's it. I gotta go get some rests. We should be able to survive in this house now. We'll see. Boop. Oh wait, let's uh, put this thing. Oh, I need to put my clothes in the cupboard. So. apparently you can wake up and your stuff be gone so uh we'll just do that all right building parts quick dump of all that bang oh clothes 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 Out of space. Uh, you know, these things are not as important. There we go. All right. Tool pip, folks. Tool pip. I'll see you soon. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. If not tomorrow, then on Wednesday. Not half an hour? Where are we? Thank you everybody for hanging out today. If you got a few moments to spare, you can come with us on a lovely raid somewhere. Uh, da 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 da. Okay, so we got our regular Saturday option. Go see my my good friend, Mr. Texas Hula. Is he up? Where is he? Or did he finish? Mm -hmm. Oh no, there he is. Bloody hell. Blind as a bat. All right, gang, we, it's Saturday and we're finishing in time to go and see my good friend, Texas Hula. Hopefully none of his none of his mods are gonna let him know this time that the raid's coming. <laughs> All right, thank you everybody uh, for hanging out today. Go watch a wood maestro at work, uh, enjoying what he does and putting on a good show. He's a fantastic entertainer. I love Hula the Bits, and uh, you will have a good time if you go over there. You might be thinking woodworking. Who cares? But actually, it's way more than that. It's wonderful. And you might also be thinking, woodworking, finally! All that pixelated woodwork that Grumbles has been doing badly today. I don't do spoilers. No, I know, I know. But I've I've seen who does. Lengor, I would not that I would call them out in the chat. <laughs> Lengor. Anyway, <laughs> take care, everybody. I wish you sincerely nothing but peace and love in your hearts. Look after yourselves. Look after one another. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central European time. We're either playing Return to Moria or we're playing uh, some more Ark because I'm a sucker. <laughs>
for, for punishment. No, but maybe we can work some more on the bolt and maybe we'll be playing Return to Moria. I don't know. Uh, if the gang's ready and everyone's fit and healthy, ready to go for Moria, we'll do that. And if we don't have enough, uh, then we'll play some Mark. Okay, take care, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Saturdays, uh, respectively. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Rimworld's always a backup. Yeah, if you want to see Rimworld, go check out Molly Berry. Okay, bye! Hey, brother, let's go, dude.